Hello, hello, welcome to Quackalo. Thank you for being here. Today we are playing The Crimson Scales, which is the single most ambitious fan-made expansion I have ever seen in my life. I could continue making things that sound impressive come out of my mouth, but honestly, this should not exist. I know this does not look like a fan-made expansion. I, I understand that the premise, the artwork, and the size screams Gloomhaven, but trust me on this one. This is made entirely by a community of fans, players, uh, teammates who worked their butts off to make something cool and, and to actually get something into the community's hands. Crimson Scales is one of those projects that shouldn't exist. Gloomhaven, in a way, is one of those projects that also shouldn't exist. It's a love letter to a community of people that wanted more from a game that already gave the majority of the world a bit too much. Here's the insane thing. It was originally going to be a print and play, and the community said, we don't really want to do that. That's a lot of printer eek and probably blisters from scissors, if we're going to be honest with the amount of cutting that would require. So if you can make it so we can get it into our hands and just order a copy, we'll do that. And Muddy and his team went through the process of making this legitimate. It's ridiculous. Another thing you might notice when it comes to this box cover and all the artwork in this game, it's going to look oddly familiar. As if, potentially, the original artist from Gloomhaven was hired to produce it all. It, it fits into the world, and there's a very good reason for that. I mean, I mean the, the, the original artist from Gloomhaven w was hired to do it all. Now, you're probably also thinking to yourself that they must have made a killing printing and selling a fan-made expansion for the single biggest game in our industry? And they, they didn't. I mean, the reality of it is, this is available for you to purchase and order at the exact cost it takes to, well, produce and ship it to you. Because this is fan-made, they are not allowed to make a profit off of its creation. It's one of those weird binding things, right? It can exist, but it can't be profitable. So, if you want to get a copy for yourself, make sure you say thank you, take the time to be charitable, and let the team know how much you appreciate the insane amount of effort that went into the creation of this. Because this is a love letter to your game and our hobby. What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> Well, I can't say you're wrong, but here we are, so... Uh, today we're joined with Devin from Devin Tuck's Tabletop, Alex from Board Game Co, and Mutti, what, what do, you, do I need a, like, last name or a phrase or a code word? Like, Addicts Games. From Addicts Games. Well, that's, that's a good point, Alex. We should talk we about that. We're, we're, we're going to talk about that. You're the lead designer, creator, and publisher of this fan-made expansion. Hi, my name is Mutti, and I'm the lead designer on the Crimson Scales. I love Gloomhaven. I played through it and I just, it got me into the industry. It got me in love with board games and I started creating content for fun. And next thing you know, it just exploded. And here I am with a huge box in front of me. I think the part that's going to come off is this is a expansion that has 11 characters, three expansion characters, 60 scenarios, basically almost the size of Gloomhaven. Yeah. Not the size of Gloomhaven because we could use a map tile from Gloomhaven, uh -huh. but close enough. And it's uh, calling it fan made just always sounds wrong. That being said, we're going to be diving into one of the side quest campaigns. This is a full campaign story with, I mean, terrain set up and narrative choices and adventures to go through. If you've played through Gloomhaven, you see that, right? you're excited <laughs> for Frosthaven to come in and you just want more of everything. That's, that's what this is. It was originally designed as a, a print and play. Yeah. How do you realize how insane that would be to print net, print out and play all of this? Well, there are people who have done it and are doing it, but yeah, it is it is pretty insane. And the community requested that you all figure out a way to to manufacture and, and, and get this into their hands. Yeah, yeah. Which is where the the giant box actually came from. This is your first time you said playing with a production copy. Yeah, yeah, it is. Because you play test on TTS and you you print have components. a print, print and play. Yeah, I've, everything here I've printed at some point, cut with scissors, and played, tested multiple times. That's, that's, it's, it's deafen. That's a lot of scissor work. It's, it's more ridiculous. We should do a 17 hour live stream, Devin, uh, just cutting out and printing, print and playing <laughs> this adventure module. I think what's interesting with most 
communities that form around a board game is that they inevitably get to the point where they create content for it. But it's always a rather scrappy, nebulous thing that happens. It's never a box that is the size of Gloomhaven that is also made and it's produced like other board games are produced and it's just the same size, it's just as heavy, it's got as much content, it uses the exact same artist as the original board game. I mean, this is ambitious. This is one of the most, if not the most, ambitious fan-made expansions I think I've personally, you know, borne witness to. That being said, one of the main things that we are doing here, one of the reasons why you came back from Origins, we all just got back from a very good and intense convention, is you are demoing and showing off your personal brand new game. Yeah. This is Rove. Right. From? Alex Games. Alex was so close to, to being there. And then he got distracted thinking through his strategy for the rest of this and uh, realizing that he's going to fall apart at, at some point. So That's why he was distracted. That is why he was distracted. Is it upside down? No, no. I just wanted to look at it. You <laughs> so pretty. It. Rove is going to be a adventure not in... Well, the Gloomhaven world, but it's sort of from the people that created this insane collaborative project, which is Crimson Scales. It's it's going to be taking some of the framework from Gloomhaven and then applying it to this ethereal sort of alien-like planet, uh, a place where nature still lives, where, where where the forest is still sentient, and you all are explorers moving through it. Uh, we're going to have more coverage coming out soon, including some gameplay and not Devin just showing you the back of the cardboard box. I was looking at the front of the cardboard box. If I show Great. them the front of it, then I'm only looking at the back of it. Right here. <laughs> We're going to have more coverage coming out soon, but if you're a fan of Gloomhaven, a fan of Crimson Scales, and you want to check out what they're working on next, which is going to be coming to Kickstarter soon, uh, you should, because fans this insane, as far as I'm concerned, should be rewarded. That being said, should we just go ahead and get to the gameplay? Stop it! <laughs> You're both the worst. Absolute <laughs> monsters. All right, what are we playing? What's the scenario? This one right here, 42. Unnatural beasts. Ah, that's what I should have used to insult both the people <laughs> around me. By the way, you need to drink that instead of that. I know that you normally drink that, but you shouldn't drink that. I think it's uh, Rob of the Dead sent you that, so. Thank you, Devin. Hey, remember that one yeah. time when you drank water yeah. and you actually were hydrated? No, thank you, I wasn't, like I definitely, okay. While you're drinking that, Great. I'll read. So, mm -hmm. uh, for those of you that don't get what's happening here, um, Devin is kindly reminding me that I have a Patreon group um, called the Quench, Quenched Quackalope uh, that require me to drink anything but Red Bull, so. This will go so much faster if you drink while I read. Thank you, Rob of the Dead, for sponsoring this glass of milk. Intrigued by the reports of the strange beasts the tiger-riding orchid told you about, or the donkey-riding orchid, like we got over there, you approach the area of the forest she directed you to. At first glance, all seems clear and calm, but then you notice the eyes. From two small gaps in the forest, you sense a range of animals watching you, and they slowly begin to growl and hiss. A similar noise comes from behind you, where you see more red eyes and a low, threatening growl. You stand back to back, waiting for the onrushing animals, but none appear. It looks like you'll have to go to them. Did you just... Alright, so we're going to a furry convention. Let's see what happens. Oh, that was awful. Yeah, why did you put I that I thought it'd there? be so funny, but it was worse than the joke. Yeah. <laughs> and I took his Red Bull. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was in the middle of drinking that, because I know these games can run pretty late, but then it was just gone. I genuinely feel a little bit bad. Uh... Both because my stomach now has a concoction of sentient milk and viscid Red Bull. But I also didn't realize that was Monty's Red Bull. Um, I thought it was Alex's, and it's much funnier to steal and drink Alex's Red Bull and, and not but the guest who you just met this weekend at Origins. I'm going to have to get him another one. <laughs> you right, We got some special rules over here. I can read those out loud. Uh, character and character summons cannot attack while occupying the G1A tile, which is this, but may perform attacks while occupying a door hex. Any character may forego a top or bottom action to perform push two, target one adjacent enemy. All right. Mm. All right. I'm going to dive in. Oh, man. I'm playing as the Hierophant. Today I'm playing as the Hierophant. This is a human-based character whose 
Main objective is to aid and work with other players around the table. I have a set of cards, a stack right here labeled P. That means prayer cards. You see, I worship the great oak tree, and nothing will stand in my way from healing others and spreading its dignity and my religion around the world. As the hero fan, I'm actually going to be able to play, give, and, and receive benefits from other players around the table. A lot of my cards deal with taking actions that make me involve myself with other allies, and then taking these cards and placing them into their hands to extend their turn cycle, give them cool reactions and abilities, and primarily, and most importantly when it comes to a game like Gloomhaven, giving them more agency or areas where they can well, just mess with the decks that they already have. And we have a lot of cool things happening here with the other characters, so I figured an ally role would be something that would be unique and also important to our success. I am playing the Quattro Bombard, which is a slow-moving, heavy, tankish character that relies not on melee attacks, but delayed projectile explosions. If, if you're familiar with Da Vinci's concept tank that you kind of saw in history during the Renaissance times, this is a fantasy version of that where I'm going to troll around with a big circular mechanism that just blows people up at a distance. I can't wait to try it out. You're playing as the Bombard we have the Luminary and then Alex, who are you playing as? I'm playing as the Chieftain. Now, are you riding a donkey? Not yet, but I might be. Not Devin, yet, but I might be. Can you run and get our guest a new Red Bull, considering I ruined his with milk? Yeah, why did you do that? Why did you do Again, that? Again, I, I, I've already stated, I, I thought the joke uh, would be funnier than the consequence <clears throat> of drinking Red Bull with milk mixed together. And uh, I can like... easily say it was not. Was not. It was not. a bad do, decision. Don't do no, that. Okay. It was a bad decision. All right, how do we set up? Oh, we are set up. We're ready to go? Ready well, to go. Can we can start in the middle and just start diving oh, yeah. out. Yeah, we can pick battle goals. There you go. So two per person. Pick one, put the other back. Oh, I'm not doing that one. Oh, I don't want to do that one either. I don't like either of these. Neither of these are what I'm looking for. Uh, one of mine is the antithesis of how I play. Both of these antithesis of how I play. Oh, that's funny. Oh. oh, that's very funny. I like that Want one. Want to flip that one? I like that one. Tonight we're going to be playing a side scenario that you can unlock at any point during the campaign. It's unlocked through an event. In this scenario specifically, we're going to be tackling three different mini-bosses. So I'm very curious to see how that pans out. There you go, sir. Thank you. You've been refreshed. I'll keep it on this side. <laughs> well, it was on that side originally. I would do it much further away from Jesse. I mean, All right. Not too close to the ass over there. Now, how do we get started? <laughs> uh, we, we play cards. We play, oh, he hasn't summoned cards. that. Yeah, that's right. So I think because <clears throat> you're a summon class, mm -hmm. and I use elements, um, probably best to take the first turn just setting something up. Okay. And then next round going into the room, because there are no enemies on the map right now. Yeah. So I'm the slowest of us. I'm assuming I should stick behind one of the fast movers, who is likely going to be one of the ones to open the door. If one of mine is not technically completable do i do i have to take the other one a battle goal yeah you could take either you just you just wouldn't won't, right i just would not be able to do it right <laughs> sorry <laughs> that's not happening um do we just pick one yeah okay yeah not that one but if you guys don't have anything to set up and you want to just rush into the room you definitely can are, are we leaning that way? Because it depends on how I do things here. Well, it's up to them. You guys want to just rush in, or do you have something that you need to set up? I mean, I don't feel like I need to set anything up. I feel like I just need to go boom, boom. Yeah, I, got, right. I have nothing to set up either. Okay. I'm an advocate of us splitting up and running into each... Splitting up? You what? Splitting up. Hmm? Okay, cool, cool, cool. No, it's all good. It's all good. I don't know what Alex is talking about personally. Do we have traps that are going to be appearing on this scenario? Well, I guess when we open the door, we'll see. Yeah, it's gonna, everything's going to spawn when we move. Fine. I know, but I just... Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Yeah, let's see what's behind one of the doors before we decide to split up. That sounds like a sensible... Have you guys never played D&D? You always split the party. I'm pretty sure that's true. Pretty sure. Okay. 
I have chosen. He has chosen widely. Um, only problem with this game is a lot of time, especially in the initial rounds, is spent looking through cards and deciding what you're going to that, do. That's, that's the entire game, Jesse. No, but as the game moves forward, you get less and less cards to pick from, <laughs> which makes your turn go quicker. That's fair. And you never get them back. You do sometimes. You do sometimes. I know, that's my point. Oh. That's my point. You get them all back. It's, it's the entire... Well, not all of them. It's the entire Devin, what? when you said you're the slowest player, what do you mean exactly? I got things that go boom boom. I'm trying to find them. I'm trying to find them. I, I picked my cards. I picked I'm ready to go. Alright. Let's jump in and go boom boom. Boom boom. Got it. Uh, okay, I, I'm going with initiative 14 over here. Initiative 43. 36. Go in with a smooth 68. Now, are we going boom boom? As a minor effect on my... Are we opening the doors? Yes. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start off with a summoning of a Black Panther. I'm going to go ahead and put my Black Panther in play. Black Panther's going to go ahead and get this one over here. Let's put this down over here. Uh, and we'll go ahead and put this... Which room do we want to be going towards or in? Big boom boom. Big boom boom <laughs> it is. We're going to go ahead and Big dump room. this down over here. Great. And then I'm going to play a simple... That's going to give me the Black Panther. We'll talk more about it as we go through it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and take a simple move two for going this action to simply walk onto my Black Panther, where I'm now on my mount. So the Chieftain primarily relies on mounts, which means you're trying to figure out the game and the balance of which mount is the right tool at the right time. This is actually very similar to the way I'm currently playing uh, the Mind Stealer and uh, the Mind Thief in another game, where you have these different augments you're trying to choose of which one is the right thing at the right time. The difference, though, is the mounts, you could have multiple things in play at once, in theory. So it's going to be an interesting balance of trying to figure out, do I just go with one? Do I have multiple? At what point do I, am I mindful of the card draw and how do I play it? I'm going to have to figure out how this works. That's when our class, the Chieftain gets to go ahead and create mounts, create summons, and then potentially ride those summons, which will be a fun little thing on its own. You didn't want the Speedy Ostrich. And the Speedy Ostrich I was not a huge fan of, but we'll talk about it. Hmm. Okay, that's my turn. Uh, I'm 43, you're next. 36, all right. I'm going to move two onto the door. I might use boots depending on what's behind this room. And it'll tell us which section to read. To that's, open the door. Room. that's door, that's, that's multiple things opened up there. There we go. So when door one is open, read 47A. So but he's never visiting us again. <laughs> section book. <laughs> we looked so professional before we got on camera. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay. You, you stand at the mouth of the cave and throw a torch into the center so you can see whatever is in there. It appears to be a pack of wolves and you catch a glimpse of the leader, a huge ferocious looking beast before it somehow melts into the shadows at the back of the cave and you lose sight of it. While you are squinting trying to see what happened to the big one, the other wolves circle back around the edge of the cave, ready to attack. Special rules. Alright, let's set up the room and then we'll go over the special rules okay. for the room. So, okay. we need... so, we need, Alex, if you could toss us the wolves over here. Yep, we need wolf tokens. So, which ones are... Wolf there, gold wolf here in the center, wolf in the top right corner. The thing that's the most important to me, treasure chest right there. Definitely not going directly for that. It looks like these are two pieces of cobble. So one, two. Uh, and one more, one more obstacle there and one more obstacle down here in the corner. All right. You okay. Now, from what I understand, this is a scenario full of three mini bosses, correct? Correct. So, if I open another door immediately, do it, Jesse. we will be able to take everything out <clears throat> quicker. Mm. I think that make that math makes sense. The math makes sense. But at the same time, <laughs> they'll be able to take us out quicker if we don't gang up on them. I don't know if his math works out. It's almost uh, he might have played this just a smidge more. I know. Listen to him for now. A smidge. His turns are over. Lucky He's only there's, moved twice. Yes. You're lucky there's a treasure chest in the back of the room because yeah. now I'm incentivized. All right. What else are you doing? All right. We got to just read the special rules over there. Ah, oh, that's true. <laughs> that would be helpful. <laughs> All right. The elite hound is the sly wolf and is permanently invisible. The sly wolf has H times C minus one hit points, so that would be three times its usual hit point value. Okay. Um, where H is equal to an elite hound's regular hit point value. Whenever a hound is killed, the sly wolf suffers C damage, which would be 4. 
None of the monsters in the room will focus on... I haven't done on... algebra in <laughs> years. Yeah. C equals number of characters. Oh. So, not, also not too much. M equals... C squared? M... Equals okay, so it's going to be killing the slime wolves off of C damage. None of the monsters in this room will focus on enemies outside the D2B tile, nor will they leave the tile. Whenever a hound is killed, spawn another hound in one of the hexes marked A at the end of the round. Wait, what? So essentially, these guys can't attack us once we leave the room, but yeah. we have to kill the sly wolf. Oh, so our goal is to kill the bosses alone. We don't have to kill the hounds. So every time but we kill a kill hound, the hounds, or to kill the boss, we need to take out the hounds. Exactly. So wow. every time we kill a hound, it suffers four damage. Once it suffered enough damage, we can leave the room and the hounds won't follow. Oh, we we locked in there? Oh, okay. Theoretically, invisible doesn't stop uh, a non-targeted damage, right? Um, right. Okay. Correct. Hmm. And that would that apply to Devin's projectiles? If he's got one, then yeah. Hmm. I maybe did pick so one. Just saying. Just saying. We have Sometimes being slow means methodical. I already like where this is going. We have a sentient ghost-like wolf running around this plane. We have a hallway where... They can't pass by, sort of like a trapped spirit. That's how my mind's playing it. And we have to take out this pack of wolves that keep spawning up. Also, do you see what I see in the back corner? Great. So let me when? see. I'm going to... <laughs> Never. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to use my boots. Do we need to reveal the but initiative yes. of the wolves? Yes. We need to draw for the wolves. All right, played a little bit. They're going on initiative 72. Um, all right, I'll put this down. They're moving minus two, which is not bad. It means they're bait, well, it means they're still screwed in mine. So my move two generated dark, so I'm just gonna move that over there. Okay. And then for my other card, I'll do floodlight, which is an attack for poison. I'm self-conscious of how quickly he's moving through the resolution of his turn. Yeah, because right about now, I'd be like, okay, so everything I just did is um is not relevant anymore. <laughs> we opened a room, there's eight things in there. He's like, oh, yeah, that makes sense with all the 14 things I've planned so far. Great. So I'll just pull an attack modifier for this. Plus two. All right, so that's attack six poison on hound number two. Let's see okay. their stat sheet, how much health they have. Over here, they're going to have eight, I believe. Okay. So that's six. Six on And we have poison two. marker somewhere. Poison. Great. Okay. And that, I'll get an experience, and that is my turn. So visually, I think that besides my awesome circular wagon of bombs and cannons, I think that Muddy's character is the coolest. I'm not sure what he's doing. He just throws cards down with abandon and apparently knows inside and out how to play this game without losing. I don't have that confidence for myself. I am moving three with a jump. Uh, oh, I need that imbued before I can take advantage of that, right? Because I have to spend that to give one ally move through with this action a prayer. Right. So... Are you not helping me go boom right now? That won't work as well as I hoped. I wanted to go boom. Dev already started off poorly. Um, I have a range of three. Nothing is going to be within that range. Can you just do a base move? Why don't you just do a base move of two? So well, I wanted to do that initially. I wanted to do the, the, fancy, the fancy move and give people prayer stuff. I don't know how you guys are when it comes to going back. But I, about moving you out of the door. Yeah, I, I had a move on the top card on my last action. Mm -hmm. If you needed that door hex, I could have just moved off. We are always hex. fine with it. No, until, I don't until things have changed. I don't. Right. Until I don't need. Yeah. I don't need the door hex. Um, so you can't attack unless you're on the the door hex because you can't yeah. attack from this tile. No, I don't. I don't need the door hex. I was mostly just playing because I thought the move would be nice because I would have yellow and then but yellow well, only. So comes for from context, that. Devin, do you need the door hex before we move to hidden information? Yeah, so I, I need to move in to, to throw up a boom. And so do you need the door hacks? Yeah. Okay, so. Not only that, if I move, I generate the light for you. Oh, that'd be great. That'd so it says, so, so you may move to jump into any of the black hexes if you do generate light. Now, I that think. would be convenient. Just do all of the things. Yeah. Let's do all of it. Great. So I will do the move to jump, generate light. 
Okay. And that's the end of my turn again. Perfect. It's almost as if I played my hand knowing that that was one of the things that I was going to do. do, and then we would... Synergy, team synergy. It was honestly your fault that I was confused when it came to my turn. Right. So right. I appreciate you correcting what you were working mm -hmm. on. Hey, this is past 2 a.m. with Quackalope, and if you're new to this format, well, honestly, so are we. We're doing our best to step into the shoes of Tabletop and No Rolls Barred, who we admire and adore. We want to do it with our own spin, our own style, and our own sort of rough-and-tumble production quality. Here's the thing, though. These videos that we're doing for as many gameplays as possible genuinely take something like three or four times the amount of work to produce. The editing, the production, the pre- and post-questions, the memory and thought that goes into every single video. If you like what we're doing here, hit the like button, make sure you subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below lending support, but the most important thing you can do, follow our Patreon link down below. We cannot continue doing these videos without you all letting us know that they're where you want this channel to go. So if you enjoy this, if you spend the next two hours hanging out with us, remember, we worked on this past 2 a.m. Uh, that a, sounds so valid. I have a move three and a jump now, so I'm going to go one, two, three, uh, which is going to let me... Uh, can you, you can move through us. You can't do that from the room you're in. No, I can do this. I don't need to do that. I thought you wanted to do that one. I did want to do that, but if I go to the doorway, then you can't get in unless you can move past me. How far is your move? I have a jump, mm. and it's the three jump okay, I great. can move past So you. I will move to the door. That means, though, I have to go over Alex. I'm also way tankier than you, so you probably want me in front well, of you. Well, Alex is not really the character I wanted to give stuff to, but I'm willing to, if necessary, which is one's my worst Friendly character. reminder to people at home that despite all appearances throughout the rest of this video, this is a cooperative. <laughs> <laughs> uh... I was going get that in my head, too. Because <laughs> the entire time, like, Four-player solo game. Yeah. <laughs> I spent the first few minutes just trying to throw Jesse off his game, which is a usual strategy. Just I forgot this was cooperative. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're trying to work together here. Uh, Alex. Yes, sir. I'm handing you <clears throat> a prayer. Thank you, sir. This prayer is for salvation. At any point... Dear God, please let You Jesse can shut use up. this card. <laughs> at any point, you can use this card for the effects. After you use it, it goes back to my prayer stack, allowing me to give it to someone else. This prayer will give you defense whenever you install it. Thank you. You're welcome. Wait. Install it? Install it? It's, it's one of those that goes down Dear onto God. the slot. <laughs> it's one of those that goes down onto the tableau and it takes it, like a few hits can be blocked yeah, yeah, more effectively. Yeah, yeah. Alright, now I'm doing my top thing. Attack uh, two, range of three. I will ping. If you t if you take out number two, which money's already hit, okay, it's, it it should kill it. Yep. Right. Likely. I'll ping Unless you get two. really screwed on the... This is my deck, no, correct? I'm that. Shielding self doesn't help with the target my mount, right? Correct. Okay. I have to get my other card down first. It's really good that you quietly said that not to the people on the camera. Okay. So, I have just some card interesting flipping. stuff with my mount, that's all. Plus zero. So we're going to be able to do two damage, which is going to go ahead and take out that wolf. That's it. Yeah, so the sly wolf will then Takes four damage, four. right? Yeah. Do you, do you want uh, some other one, one piece damages over there? Yeah. How about we, just for the sake of logistics... Sure. Give you the damage over there. Uh, Alex, can he put the damage yeah, right, right underneath now, your cards? I, of spent, the way, I do get two experience from my card. I spent light to do this action. I am installing light. <laughs> That'll be light. good for this single scenario. <laughs> I'm installing light in order to do this. Now, the cool thing is if I attacked someone that wasn't going to be taken out, I could have actually buffed someone else's attack mm. uh, this next round. But I'm not going to be too worried about that. I'm going to set this off to the side. Killing them is valuable. Now, we're doing damage to the lead wolf at the same time, correct? Yeah, yeah I just put four in there. We okay. need a coin for that one. A coin? Pass a coin yep. to your chair. Oh, valley of plenty. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to, on my turn, how, how far can they move? Because I'm about to throw a projectile. Four. And if you are unfamiliar with projectiles, so they, they gotta... do not activate until the start of the next turn. So I want to get a low initiative next turn, but this turn, unfortunately, they have a high initiative. I'm going before mm -hmm. them, so I wanted to kind of anticipate sure. where they're going to move They're to. currently going to be moving two. Their default movement is four for the basic ones, and they're moving two less so, for the cards. So if you go in front so, of me, they're going to be all two, around you. One. But one, one, two, so they're going to be there. No, no, no. And then maybe there. You're going to get ahead of me, potentially. I know, So, but if I move here, there, and drop something right there, it would potentially be adjacent to where these two are coming in on me, right? Gotcha. Yeah. I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at the designer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that 
Is that yeah, valid thinking valid. there? All of us just got back from Origins, and I am operating at like 30% right now, because after a full convention, we are diving deep into a Crimson Scales gameplay, which I am super happy about. But Jesse's energy level is here, and my energy level is here. And I'm trying to bring it up as much as I can. I drank three Red Bulls tonight. I don't drink Red Bulls at all. I drank three of them. So I'm going to do a move jump three. I'm going to, you know, spin my tank over there. Spinning is the primary You're like mode a of method. Beyblade. Yeah, I'm a Beyblade. I'm a, a Quattro Beyblade. And then I've moved, I've done a jump. And then the top one on here, I'm going to set down a projectile. I think right, let's see. Can we. It, it, yeah, so I'll tell you, this guy's gonna move here or here. Yes. And this guy's gonna move here. And we can choose that, right? Yeah, you we can, can choose. choose the pathing. Right. So if I put this here, I'm pretty much guaranteed to hit two of them next turn if I have a low initiative start. Well, what is your card? So it's at the start of your next turn, it's an attack two, mm -hmm. no range, stun, all enemies adjacent to the target suffer one damage. So he's gonna move here, but he's gonna move first. So you're probably better off doing it on this one, because number three will move to that one, number six will move adjacent to it. Okay. So put it there? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> That's what I thought. If you wanted to hit two of them, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. And then I'm done. Yeah. It's going to look cool next turn. You've been saying that your whole life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, wolves are gonna go ahead and move now. You wanna go ahead and let's move the wolves. Sure. So none of them. Can... I can't see which ones have initiative. So. I'm... So the elite will always go first. Mm -hmm. He's going to move three. two. He moves three. Oh uh, yeah. Five minus two. Yeah. He, he only needs he, to move he two. Yep, yep. Yeah. He'll go for me with an attack minus one pierce two. Where's the? There. I don't know which decks are theirs. Yeah. This there one's there. So we'll just shuffle it up a bit. Okay. Leave it. I was trying to think yeah. of a comeback this whole time, Alex. <laughs> I haven't been able to. We'll have a next turn. <laughs> that was good. That was good. <laughs> that was really. Right. I literally fell into that one. That was really good. Minus one, so it's got an <clears throat> attack of four. Minus one, minus one is an attack of two. And that's against the Chieftain? Uh, that's against me, because I had a higher initiative. Oh, 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 class. okay, the Lurker's there. Sorry, yeah. Chieftain's back here. Sure. Okay. So I'll take two damage. Next, number three, we'll move here. Okay. Number four, move here. And then number six, here, and attack the Bombard. Bring it on! Minus one again, so that's two. Mmm. Okay. Can I just exhaust my shield and not take anything? So that optional shield you don't want to use because this attack has pierce. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it'll go right through go your through. shield. Mmm. That's so some sharp teeth. Yeah. Fine, I'll just take the two damage. I've only still got seven more than Jesse started with. I started with 11. Yeah, that's how math works. I have 18 now. I'm, I'm worried. What? I'm worried about this, guys. Mm -hmm. I know who all we said was weak so, at this game. We, but so, are, we, are we done with the enemy's turn? I think we're yep. done. Next turn. We're done. Let's choose our cards. I got that there. And to be fair, that I don't have to get rid of this card. That's just saying it continues to persist yeah. until the next until turn. Until the next turn, yeah. Alright. Now do we spawn uh, It really is different, Alex, playing this physically after being I on know, the digital version. I know, right. I know. Don't get me started. <clears throat> uh, I believe we spawn a wolf on A? Yes, we do. So A will be put it right here. Okay. Will they stop spawning once the Sly Wolf is dead? It does not say that. No, but once we leave the room, they can't leave the tile. Yeah. So we don't have so to worry about So these are like anymore. bewitched areas. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. cool, 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 cool. The worst part about opening a door on Gloomhaven is just seeing what pops up. And, and we see these one, two, three, four hounds popping up. You got the elite, we'll take care of it. And then you start doing the math and you realize that this isn't even a case of what you see is what you get. We're going to have to kill nine of these things. We're going to take out nine of these things to actually win this room, and this is the first of three rooms. Alrighty. Do we need to get that treasure chest? Need is a relative term. You generally want them. What's in the right. treasure chest? You don't know. 
That touch was just working. Yeah, honestly, like, I've designed like, so many, I don't remember exactly. I mean, I mean, is it going to be a specific <laughs> thing? He's lying. Just, is Humble it going to be brag. a specific thing, or is it going to be like just five coins? No, one specific thing. The one specific thing might be five coins, right. but it is one That's specific thing. That's all I ever get. I am saying it, it is a one specific thing. I go jump on treasure chests. It's just bing. I'm just saying. If you don't want the coins, don't take the chest, Justin. I do want the coins. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. At this point, if I'm on a mount, movement doesn't help me because I move off the mount. Right. You yeah. want to rely on your mount typically and to do the things. movement, unless you have a bottom that moves the mount for you. I got, I got plans. So I it frees plans. up your bottom action to do something else. I know. I, I got plans, like I told you. I got plans, like I told you. I do, 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 do. If the plans don't work, and we got plans. <laughs> and we got plans. <laughs> and we got plans. Is anyone going very quick? I would I like am. to go very quick. Yes, I'm going very. Okay. Quick. No, no, I'm going very. Can I go quicker? I'm going. <laughs> I'm going moderately quick. I just don't want to go first. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> we're in trouble here. Okay, I, I think I will go faster than. So you me. might not want to go too fast unless you have a lot of movement. Because there isn't a path there right now. Um, so I have three movement buttons. <coughs> right? My, my fair on that logic? That was good, yeah. Hammer. <clears throat> yeah, you got a path. I got a tickle yeah. in my throat. Okay. Are we ready? I've been ready for a while. Reveal. Right. 19. 37. 11. 33. Okay. And enemies. We got the hounds. are going to be 83. So Perfect. very, very late in the game. Yeah, right. they are hitting hard. They are hitting hard. They'll be yeah. dead, okay? They'll be hitting dead. Well oh. said. They'll be hitting dead. Okay, yeah. who's going first? <laughs> Me. Uh, Devin. Okay, so I'm going to activate, at the start of my turn, the projectile that I've set up there underneath Hound number three. Um, great you know, extra actor there. Um, just stunning him. That's going to do damage attack two with a stun, and then all enemies adjacent to the target suffer one damage. So this one is going to get two plus whatever modifier, and that one's going to get an additional one. one. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> okay, so I need to shuffle up this real quick. So have we given stun to the... I guess technically there's a cancellation of effect card, so I guess we should wait to add stun until I've pulled a modifier. Well, the stun will apply yep. regardless of the modifier. Yeah, I knew yeah. that, yeah. yeah. Man. I think you were a know-it-all if you didn't make the game. Um, plus one. That's so good. it's a That's three good. damage on number three. Yes, it is. Number three, my lord. <clears throat> and then that one is also going to be stunned. You ever play that video game was like, yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Stun. Nope. Nope. <laughs> it's. it's <a laughs> and then this one is also going to take... One point of damage, so that's how number. I read that one six. Uh, number three is stunned. <clears throat> number three, stunned. yeah. yeah three stunned six. and six took the damage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then this stays out of my deck, right? Yeah. Yep. Until all you draw the maintenance, shuffle card. all the maintenance of stuff that I forgot about. Okay. <clears throat> that's your turn. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's cool. I'm gonna still actually take my turn. That was just a projectile going off, and now I'm going to uh, heal two for myself, and then all attacks targeting you gain disadvantage this round. And then the top card that I'm going to be doing is attack four with a range of three, and I get to add two attack if the target suffered damage from a projectile ability this turn. So I'm going to be doing attack six to number three here to wipe it from the map. Well, it's actually so it's actually got stunned now though. Yeah. Yep. So it's not going to be participating in an Correct. attack. So should I actually do six to the one that's only got one damage? I would probably. Is anybody able to clean? I might be able. To. You might be able to clean it off with like an AOE effect. I'm so if you attack the one hound six, it'll be a disadvantage. Because it's adjacent to you and it's a ranged mm, attack. That's true. Oh, um, so I I might as well just kill number three, damage the sly hound, yeah. and clear out another enemy. Right. Okay. Well, then I'll do that. I'll do number. Oh wait, for disadvantage, you do two, pull right. two, and do the least yep. effective one. Yep. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. No, I think I'm still gonna go for a disadvantage. Go for it. Okay. Just because the other one's stunned, so I'm gonna pull two. Oh, no. So I'm um, going for uh, going for Try number. You. <laughs> it's like guys, I've played this game before. <laughs> that fully up. cancels it out, right? Right. So but no it shuffles damage. the deck shuffles too. The deck. Yeah. Mm. Now in hindsight, what you should have probably done is put the projectile on the one closer to you. If we, if you had known your whole thing. Yes, yeah. I did know it, but I, I didn't think yeah. about just it. Saying, just commenting. 
Okay. So when we lose, I can point out you're on a fishing plane. Oh, okay, cool. Wow. My turn. I have 19 over here. I'm going to start just because we're all, I believe, are we all in range two of me? We're not currently all in range two of me, but we will be shortly. So I believe the mount goes first, right? The mount can go ahead right. and it's going to move three and I'm going to be placed, you can place me right behind jump? the bombard. No. I can walk through allies. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this mount, by the way, has retaliate one whenever I'm attacked. It also has a, def de a default standard attack of one, which I'm going to go ahead and use to target the person next to me, the wolf next to me. So just a heads up to keep in mind that the hounds do have retaliate. Oh, they did not keep so, that in mind. Just one point of damage if you attack. Do these, one. Do mm. these wane, by the way? So yes, those those do. You consume light, but you reinfuse the mm -hmm. last. I think I'll yeah. hold off on the point of damage for right now. So I'm not going to bother. That's a fair point. Did not think of that or see that really. Uh, from there, all targets, all attacks targeting me gain disadvantage, which is helpful, and I have retaliate. So lots of movement, lots of things. But the real reason I did that is I'm going to start off with a strengthen over here. So all of you, I believe, are strengthened. Affects all allies within range two. All of you are within range two. So everyone is currently strengthened, including your mount, including my mount. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so for for the viewers, I was purposely doing a suboptimal turn so that it really showed the contrast between what you're able to achieve in this game mm -hmm. and Alex is now kind of showing you a, a pretty efficient turn and it was good that we planned that out ahead of time to kind of give talking? you the wide range of yeah. stuff uh, oh sorry can you give me the prayer all right I'm gonna cut in here because Devin and Alex will not stop talking over me this is Rove. It is also designed by the team that brought you Crimson Scales. It'll be coming to Kickstarter soon, and they were previewing, previewing it down at Origins, which is the convention we all just got home from. This pays homage to Bloomhaven, right? It's a fan base that wanted more from this world, and that's sort of what they're doing. We have a world that is living and sentient, but also untamed, a forest that still has a spirit and a band of, well, colorful mercenaries venturing out into this alien-like landscape. There are going to be changes, a more in-depth, where choices matter style narrative, a different aspect of card play where cards flip instead of cycling out of your hand, and of course, more unique characters and more amazing abilities. If you love Gloomhaven, if you're interested in Crimson Scales, or if you just want a, a bright, vibrant, and weird world to explore, Rove is quickly rising on my list of most anticipated games coming this year. And just in case you're curious, I'm absolutely not taking any money from this company. First off, they're a first-time publisher that's obsessively invested in our community by making Crimson Scales at their own expense. And along with that, I want the chance to tell you that this is cool. And that will give me the chance to tell you this is cool. Perfect. Thank you, sir. And then also while we're at it, um, now the real question I have here is I can either do a, an attack with my next ac action or I could heal someone for three. Does anyone, does anyone need three healing? Is it useful? I'm, no, I've already, I'm at full health. Just, and yeah, I would people love have to get He's at full health too. Dude. <laughs> dude, don't, don't listen. I've got 11 Dude, health. Is, yeah, you can't, you can't go, go over. over. About 11, you think that's full I'm health? Gonna go ahead and attack Who would design this character to only have 11 health, Alex? I'm gonna attack That would the be guy. vulnerable. I'm gonna attack the wolf next to me. Like me emotionally after four hours on stream. Attack the, the wolf this next one. to me. Yes, indeed. Uh, so strength means I draw two cards, and that's advantage. Strength means does what again? So strength, the mount's strengthened, but you're not. Okay, Are I gotcha, you? gotcha. No, it says allies, I'm not okay, allies. Right. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'll go ahead and attack and draw a card, which is over here. Okay. Oh, great. So that is a plus zero, but it pushes one and yep. immobilizes. Yep. And because you pushed them, you don't suffer the retaliate damage. Nice. Perfect. So, uh, so he's immobilized as well. going to push to here. Right. Or are we going to... Oh, we can't double push. No. Yeah. Okay. And then so, I... He is immobilized. He's immobilized. We're going to put a token on him. So he can't move, which can be helpful. And he's going to go ahead and take two damage. <clears throat> That'd be number six. That's number six. Okay. That's two damage. I got the damage over here. And we're good to go on my turn. All right, next? I'm 37, you're 33? 33. 33. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to move here, the default. And then I'm going to attack three, consume the dark for stun. That is such a cool name. Did you say Seven. consume the consume dark? The dark. Cons well, that's not the name, but I'm literally going to consume no, the that's, dark. No, that's the name of my new band I'm starting next week. <laughs> it's actually a spirit in Spirit Island. Oh, really? Yeah. It's not, but it sounds like it could be. 
<laughs> I believed you. It just sounded like one of those. It sounds like a, like my spirits favorite, dances with flame. My favorite Spirit Island character is an occasional guest. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to do an attack three. Plus one. So that's four damage on hound four. And he's stunned. And he's stunned. Kapow! So these guys are all pretty inefficient this turn. And the wolves are not that by great either. Yeah, they're not. <laughs> that guy's going to hit someone hard. The sly wolf. Okay. Uh, I can't move into another hex. So if that's it had worked, it would have been really good. Oh, I was strengthened. That's right, so I'll pull second. If it had worked. All right. On me? Yeah, my strength goes away. All right. Uh, I'm going to go and be moving five. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. I am ending next to an enemy, so I'm going to generate grass. Uh, I have an attack uh, with a range of three. Um, who is... He's within a range of three, and I he believe is. corner hex to corner hex, he's still vulnerable. Uh, but this one is also in a range of three. What's the health on this one? Uh, three. Six is three. Now, are you sure you want to end next to him? Because otherwise, that's how he's going to attack you. That's how oh, I am. Five. Five yeah, that's that's how I am. View green. <coughs> All right, okay. I have a tickle in my throat. That's not good on camera. Though. I have a tickle. It's okay. Handle. Uh, so I. I generate, I generate green and I generate light by being next to people. I don't need to move that far, but... If you move here, you could generate both. Can I tell you a secret? What? Okay. There's a treasure chest in that corner. Oh. All you right. might not know about that. All right, I see what you're doing. But I know something you don't. Uh, so I'm going to move there. So here's the thing. I have some core plans. Anytime I play Gloomhaven. Get as many coins as possible, find the treasure chest. It's about... Uh, all I like to do. I like playing different characters. People that blow people up. People that snipe people from far away. People that help and aid and ally. But if there's a treasure chest on the board, you can bet your bottom dollar that Jesse Anderson, I'm going for it. And if I don't get it, if anyone else steals it from me, I'm gonna be bitter. And here's Jesse going for the chest. You know, that one's a pretty hard one to reach. And I hope he doesn't spend too many turns trying to get it. I'm going to aim down here at number six. Uh, with a attack of three, I am strengthened, uh, and then if this kills an enemy, you may perform bless range two, which would allow me to go, ooh, I don't have a bless on anyone, so. You could affect I'm yourself moving. if you want. Um, now I'm going to move one less. I, well, you're right, it's Alex. I'll move one up and then <laughs> still affect myself. That's a reasonable decision. Uh, so, strength, what does strength do again? You pull two modifiers instead of one. Okay, so plus zero. Two times. Ooh, nice. All right. Attack of six damage. That should take out number six. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Which is going to go ahead and wound our big boss. And because I did that, I will go ahead and bless myself. Did you, was that attack of two? So the bless we take attack from the bless modifier deck. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. It's one of those. It's one of the sub cards. That is going to reshuffle my deck though because I drew that double modifier. How much modifier. health does the sly Eight. wolf have? Eight. How much health total? Uh, it should have a, two, what is it, three times number of characters minus, so it's 24? Um, minus so times three of the characters. Yeah. And is eight that times that? Yeah. Yes, yeah, 24. Hmm. Oh, uh, it's elite, so 33. Oh, my yeah. bad. Yeah, so it need, we need to kill nine of them. <laughs> nine of the wolves yeah. taken yeah. out? So seven you more. You said that very casually. <laughs> Do you know how many nine is? I was feeling really <clears throat> good about the amount of wolves we've we taken killed out. two. Yeah, I was feeling great about That's two. That's more this additional like, wolves than what's out there. I was like, these wolves are a joke. To we just get like one of those Morgan Freeman narrators. Like, it was at that moment that they all realized they were not going to win the scenario. <laughs> great. Uh, well, that's my turn. Thank you for playing. You've I'm been going practicing to your Morgan Freeman my impression. Not here. once. It shows. It shows. <laughs> shows. Okay, we're good to go. Yes, sir. Let's everyone except the hounds. Uh, hounds gotta go. Hounds. Yeah, let's skip them. Okay, so uh, these two are stunned over here. So we do have the, uh, the the two up there and the and the four. It looks like no, the four stunned. The four stunned. This one stunned. So just the two up there and the elite big bad. So elite big bad is gonna go first. Going yeah. ahead and moving nothing, I believe, and attacking who? Me? The uh, who went? The bombard went first. I went. Right? I went first. So mm -hmm. he's gonna attack the bombard. With disadvantage. Um, right. With disadvantage for. That's true. Five. I didn't just say that. Plus one. 
Plus zero. All right, that's five. Okay. But you do have armor battle trigger. Isn't it plus one by default? Yeah. Oh, it's five. Sorry, I stuck at the wrong Yeah, yeah five. So you got your plate mail that'll drop yeah. it to four, and then it's up to you if you want to use the tower shield or not. Drop it to two. I had to have used... You said I, they have pierce, though? Not on this card, no. So I, you could okay. use the shield if you want to. I have to choose to use the Cloak of Invisibility, correct? Right. Yeah, during yeah, the Yeah, I'm going to trigger both of them to drop it from five to two. So the plate mail has five charges. Yeah. So you don't need to spend it now. You can just put one of those charge tokens on there. One of these? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then I can't put my blowy blowies up. You got plenty of tokens. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, no, so I'll stop that, so, so I'll, drop, two I'll drop down yeah. to two. Yeah. And then these two stun <clears> goes <throat> away, and number two will attack the Hierophant. Okay. So, where's the, the other? Plus Whoa. two. That is an attack of three plus one plus two. That's a problem. Six. There's the algebra here. Six. So, Six. three? Eight. Yeah. That's what not being at full health looks like. Don't worry. I've got this. So he's at 5 out of 11. And then we spawn one more, because we killed one. Where does it go? So, because those hexes are occupied, we can put it here. Oh, hey, Jesse. Hex. Guys. That's what happens when you go for the treasure chest. They didn't, um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to get through that pocket. Yeah, sure, okay, sure, great. whatever you think, man. And that's the round. All right, car's up. Man. Mm -hmm. I didn't know there were more puppies coming out of the back of them. <laughs> Is that treasure chest spawning dogs? Shoot. Uh, all right. Do these projectiles move with them or do they have to remain on that spot? They remain on the spot. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Can my projectiles damage the sly wolf though? Um. Not if not through the attack. Not through the attack. That's yeah. what I was worried about. Yeah. Am I considered an ally to myself? Um, no. Am I considered an ally to, to everyone else? Yeah. <laughs> that's that's a dubious question for, for you, Jesse. <laughs> it says whether we consider you an ally. Add curse if the target is adjacent to an ally. Am I considered an ally? Um, not in that case. No. So that's referring to. Any of us or his mount. His mount's considered an ally before yes. me? Yeah. Yep. Yep. I'm going to be honest about that. That's offensive. He's riding a freaking donkey. Huh. Let's see. But I, but I don't have to target... I can target a spot for my projectiles, or do I have to target where a creature is? You can target an empty hex. Okay. That's what, that's yeah. what I was wondering. Push is only away from me. Right. Mm -hmm. I can't push him to the side of me. Not if the side is closer or the same distance. distance. Yeah, yeah. Mutti, um, what, what health does the hound have in front of you? Number four has four health left. What are the odds you're going to kill that? Because currently if you don't move and it doesn't move, it stays there. But what are the odds that's being dealt with? I'll be able to, um, let me see here. Because currently, the, the right. ones that make sense right. for me to go yeah, after right I'll now. I'll be able to deal with that so that you don't have to worry. The ones that make sense for me to go out are here, but I'm just very genuinely curious about if Jesse's going to do something for his own benefit and run away, which would allow them to then move. Because if they don't move, I could do something about them. Okay, I've chosen. So you're saying if I remain chewed on. Yep. That's what I'm saying. Great. That's what I'm saying. I've always wanted to just be chewed on. Yeah, all right, well. Okay. All right, ready? Yes, sir. <clears throat> so I can do this one. <clears throat> Speed of 14, 20, 80, 24. And what's the. What is that? 26. 26. Whoa, that's not cool. It's so not cool. Okay, starting with me. I'm going to go ahead and heal three. By the way, all of these should wane. Heal three. I'm imbuing sunlight. Range of three. I'm going to target myself, believe it or not. Some call me selfish. I'm, 
a man of opportunity. Why do we have it? Why is that backwards? Who did it that way? This is the one that should be at eight. So that's your experience. Oh. I, for so some you're reason, zero health right now. <laughs> <laughs> for some reason, I had it as like one zero originally, like one one. Oh, you thought it was one. I did eleven static for dial. some reason. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. Uh, then attack of two to the creature that is adjacent to the figure who was affected by the heal ability. Uh, so two going for number two there, I believe. Mm -hmm. Number two, my lord. All right, I grab a modifier here. Plus one, three damage going to number two. Okay. Now, my second ability. One ally within range three. Uh, bless one ally within range three with a prayer. Ability card in their hand may immediately be able to play the top or bottom action of that card if they do gain an experience. If they play the bottom action, give the ally one prayer ability card. Alex. Yes. Would you like to go ahead and play the top or bottom okay. of the prayer card that I gave you? I could. Yeah. If you play the bottom, I can give you another prayer card. I mean, the bottom doesn't help me, but I don't know how I can do it. Oh, you don't? I mean, you can play the top, too, if you'd like. I can do the top. Seems oh, like sure. you two are kind of having, yeah, like, a religious cool. crisis right now. I'm, just... <laughs> I'm going to play Salvation. The next two sources of damage from attacks, I go ahead and get shield, too. You're welcome. The Great Oak blesses you. Thank you, Great Oak. Uh, I'm not the Great Oak. It's a giant tree that actually is in the center of our village. Thank you, Great Oak. Yeah, they're better. Uh, okay. It's that, a small villager. That is my turn. We've got six people. Okay, uh, to you. All right, I'm going to six is see what they're doing. Yeah, it's a lot of health. Now I'm referring to this. He's team. talking about their initiative. Oh, because <laughs> it's right before you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Once we kill enough, where there's you only need to kill a few more, we should all concentrate on those few, oh. ignoring the rest. <sighs> Do I use things like health it sounds now? Strategic. It sounds just snarky, right? Yeah. <laughs> It's like, so when you have an option of killing one fully or maybe not doing any damage, you should probably listen to me, Devin. I feel like we're splitting our damage and he's like, it doesn't make sense, but it makes a little bit more sense right now. It'll make no sense later. You guys are objectively bad at my game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to move there. I'm going to attack three and immobilize that hound. Okay. And that's the one that's at, num at four health Creates right now? Creates light. Um, number four, yeah. So that's at a full seven now. Right. Almost. So it's at seven and immobilized? No, 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 no. That's number three. Oh, you're right. I, I was saying this to encourage Alex to just get a five out, but you know, he's moving slow over there. Sorry, I'm thinking about my turn. I apologize. And moving I may move one here. I will do to create dark. Dark. And that's my turn. Okay. Oh, interesting. Fun fact. Could I, I mean, I could have, I could have done, after all ability cards have been revealed, increase or decrease, decrease. we just see the initiative, right? right? Yes. So I could theoretically go before them. Yes. Okay, are we comfortable with that? Well, if mm, you'd like to. Seems like cheating. Because number two is, I mean, I could take out one of the wolves before it hurts us. So would you like me to cheat? Seems legit to me. Cool beans. I'm gonna go ahead and tap my boots that increase my initiative by 10, so I really operate at an 18. Uh, that would be before, after Jesse, right? Mm -hmm. That's important, because I'm gonna keep the sequence in play, making sure things are fine. So I'm well, gonna move. I think he went. I know, but I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna affect anything he did. That's okay. making sure, because okay. of the order. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and Seems we're gonna legit. do. Um, that puts me at an 18 over here, and then I could attack. Nothing next to me is really one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and move my mount. Just if you can move my mount up to next to your two over there. Just the mount? You have all the mount and me. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I'm not gonna attack because I'd get retaliate one. You know what? I will attack actually because I want to make sure that we kill this thing. I don't want to take a chance, so I'm gonna do an uh, attack. Now the mount is strengthened, right? right? How does that play out right now? So it'll flip two modifiers. Okay. Perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and. Um, a deal with one damage, attack one, with two modifier cards, we're over here, right from my deck? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so flip two modifiers, we have plus zero, and this over here. So we're gonna go ahead and give burn and piercing. I don't think they have any armor, so I don't think it matters. A wound, whatever. Um, I'm gonna put a wound on them. Yep, turn it number two. And then from there, that's, and that's plus, and it's one damage, so one damage two as well, which I have over here. Retaliate one to myself on the mount. So we're gonna get one damage on my friendly little black panther over here. And then we are going to, that was its action. 
From there, I'm going to go ahead and put this into play and me focus on me before focusing on my mountain summon and I can choose to act before my mountain summon. So I basically have a little bit of flexibility in play now for my war paint. That we're going to put in play there and then I'm going to do an attack four. What kind actually, of design did you do? Just uh, I, want, I want something very mountain like. Uh, we're going to have an attack four plus an attack two. If you can consume the, um, the green, consume that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and hey, have attack welcome. six. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and attack six with one experience, which I'll make sure to take. I did that. You... And we have attack six, no strength in, and we have plus two, eight woesers. I did not need anything, anything at all. Uh, that wolf is dead, like as dead as you can possibly go. Oh, it, did. Yeah. it was a plus two? It was a plus two. I did a full eight damage all at once, but I just didn't know how things were playing. What a that was a two. lot of murder. So we're going from eight. Nope, to another four up here. Yep, thank you. So I'll just take one off, off and add a five. Okay, and then if you want to drop a gold there, Bing. And that is my turn. All right. Now the wolves go, I believe. Yep. One less wolf goes. You're all right. So 26. Um, you didn't go yet, right, Devin? I have not gone. Okay, so it's going to attack me. Okay. It's going to do uh, attack of four plus zero. I'll proc this once, so that's three damage. Number four. Three is gonna go next. He mm. will attack you. Okay. Mm. For four. Minus one, three. Yeah, if you wanna use your armor, yeah. So three, drop down to 15. So number four is immobilized, goes away, he doesn't do anything. Yep. And number six. He's gonna attack Jesse. Um, Jesse went yeah, 14, right, I went 18. Right. I'd rather you attack me. Yeah. <laughs> Plus one. It's so that five is damage. Uh, four damage. Four damage, yeah. Perfect. Mm. Four health left. Just what I needed. Mm. And then mm. we spawn another hound, and that's it. Where does it Another spawn? Hound? Same spot the there? Again. Yeah. Stop yeah. it! Stop! Well, it's almost like you tried to go for the treasure chest and walked away from all of the other parts of the team. How am I supposed to get that treasure, though? I don't Does, does it actually have something for your character? Or is it just you wanting to get treasure? Is it just Jesse and Shiny right now? I have so not it's my turn to go? Yeah. Um, <laughs> <the round laughs> you guys so, were like picking cards. You're like, Devin didn't do anything last Devin. turn, so yeah. why would he do anything this turn? Money whisker whispered to me moments ago. Money whispered to you? Money whispered to me moments ago. Okay. That that treasure chest okay. was specifically designed for my character. Really? He did. When did he whisper that? Moments ago. When he was talking to me? It's recorded. It's moments ago. So I've seen players literally exhaust themselves just trying to get a chest when we're only halfway through the scenario. And I'm just hoping that at this table we don't see any of that. He said, listen. Are we done bickering, boys? <laughs> Are we done bickering, Right, boys? you can confirm, right? No. All right, yeah, I'm, going to find do, out. <clears throat> I'm going to do attack. Um, oh, I don't think we turn. will. I'm not getting the treasure. How, how, how much damage is number four taken? Uh, it looks like seven. It seven, just needs right? one more. Okay, yeah, I'm going to do my attack at a range three. Uh, attack two at a range three, so I'm gonna draw a. If you wanted to use something else, I could always use my mount to take out the four. Because my mount has a very low attack, I could probably go for the mount. Is it going this round? Um, no, but do we go next round? I understand that, but I, this is my turn this round. Yeah, I understand. I'm saying, I'm saying in case you're just deciding. You're so selfish. No, no, it's for the team. It's for the team. For the team. I did plus zero, but it kills it. Great. Vitality then... only takes place if they're still alive, right? Right. Cool. Yeah. I, and I, the reason why I did that was to gain yeah. advantage on my next projectile attack. So that was number four, right? No, number four, my lord. All right. Is dead. So and we add another seven. four. Okay. So he's half dead. Right. Okay. Um, and then, so. He's going to respawn here. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not good. Wait, why is he... Behind me. these two are occupied, so it could be an adjacent hex to them closest. To why, them why, why did they be, both respawn? Because we killed two. So at the end of the round, they both spawn. Uh, we just did it before you went. Could be okay, okay, lower? Okay. This one? Yeah. Yes. 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 I don't know if you want it. I'm just checking. Seems like it makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my projectile for next time. Number six and number two. How much damage does number six have? A l none. So I, I'm just going to put this here. Yeah, the only one with damage is number three. Okay. I'm going to put that projectile there, which if it lands next time is going to be an attack of five with 
Um, wait, d does this generate when I do the projectile? Yeah, immediately. Oh, okay. I don't know if... Did I do that last time? It didn't do anything, so that's fine. Alright, so I generate fire there, and then... I'm not paying attention to my experience, but whatever. Okay, I am now done, guys. Great, so that's all we need to do, and we're ready for the next round. Cool beans. Okay. <coughs> okay. Do -do -do. I'm ready to go. Going at a... Cannot tell you. I think we're good. I, I, I think we're going to survive. Uh, I think you're going to kill us all. Four health I mean, has yeah. me very confident in my own abilities. Um, Jesse, you could have one health and nothing, and you still be confident in your own abilities. I was told early on that the best methodology for myself was to All right. rush forward aggressively, get to the front lines, and hold down the battlements. I'm ready. I was saying that was weird, because I pray battlements. to a giant tree, and Alex assured me that, trust me, it's how my character works. So... Ready to go? Yeah. I was no. like, dear God, are we ready? Where's my prayer card? 28. 32. 45. 12. And we have for the hounds, 20. Again? Could you not? <laughs> oh, no. That's a problem. Um, all right. So I, at my low initiative level, I'm going to activate my projectile from last time, which is going to do an attack 5 with advantage. So it is a plus zero or a plus two. So I'm gonna do the plus two. So I'm gonna do attack seven to number six. Which I think we'll take it out, correct? Uh, no, it, it's it's at full health. Well, yeah, it just says one more. But I've made it to where it's very squishy for you all. You're welcome. Now so I'm going to... For number <clears throat> six, if you have five there. Yeah. Now, let's just uh, uh, theoretically. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. If you and when you take enough damage to kill you, there are methods to, to stay alive. Like discarding cards to yeah. so take damage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, you can lose a card. Um, you can also. Go or invisible. you can walk away from the chest. You done? No. Time. I haven't even. No, sorry. Never mind. I aggressively Can't... just don't care what his turn. <laughs> <laughs> truly, truly, I'm gonna move one, and I'm going to shield one on myself and then with the top part I'm going to shield again which and then each time I'm targeted by an attack this round which I will be for sure by the sly wolf I'm gonna gain retaliate X where X is equal to your shield value for the attack which is going to be three because of my plate mail so I have retaliate three and shield three this round right okay cool I was really hoping to go before the wolves were you? Um, I think is we nobody were. going before the wolves nope. other than me? Nope. Yeah. Well, I tried to get in the middle to where two of them would attack me. Okay, yeah. <laughs> the wolves go. Mm. Lead wolf attacks Devin. Okay, so Sly Wolf attacks me. It's going to be five damage to you, four damage. Oh, let's draw a modifier, sorry. It's four damage. So four, which I block three of. Right. And I only take one, and now the Sly Wolf gets hit for three. Yes. Because retaliate damage counts, right? Right. And then this one is going to get killed, isn't it? Because it's got enough. Oh, it's only got three damage three on three. it. So right now it has what? Uh, it's 18, 19. 19. Okay. Of uh, the 33 we need. I feel very 14 confident. more. Got it. So you have taken algebra. If that's algebra, <laughs> Arkansas has some educational things it needs to, to tweak. Okay. Uh, we are on to the, wolf, the rest of the wolves? Hmm? Yeah. yeah. So number three goes. Number, right, so gonna attack them. number two will try to Which, move. Does it have a path? No nope. path? Yeah. Okay, so that's it. Number three will go. It will attack you as well. Minus two one. Damage. So, so it does zero to me, yep. but I do three to it. Mm -hmm. Nice. Great. So let's get a five. Yep. Okay. Now we have number, home, four. number four. Whose initiative is lower? Um, I'm on 32. <clears throat> yep. Jesse, you are? He's mm -hmm. 28. Can you stop going first, maybe? Okay. So that one time when you died? It's going to be plus one, so four damage. <laughs> no! No, you get just discard, discard cards. a card. Alternatively, what are your options? Yeah, that's it. You gotta lose a card. I choose, or is it... Why didn't you, you choose? use your major I was at eight potion. health as of the end of my last turn, which would have only healed me by three. 
And the last one hit me pretty hard too. Yeah, you get to choose. Why didn't you become invisible? You wouldn't have been intargetable. I just have to discard it or it's out of the game? Um, no, it's, it's out of the game. It's burned. It's gone. It's gone, gone forever. Burned, burned. Great. Uh, I didn't like this card anyway. Can he get rid of prayer so cards? Right. No. Mm. You rip it? Legacy? No. <laughs> <laughs> Legacy. Oh, he's like, no. <laughs> he's like, immediately like, he's like, no, dear lord. Uh, okay, well, I blocked that. Guess what's also going to happen next? Your turn. Yeah. Minus two. Thank you. Two damage, right? Yes. 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 So I'm down to two health. Perfect. So if you if you burn a card, you avoid all damage. Yeah. Yeah. That, uh, I remember. I want to save for those high hits. I have them where I want them. Are you doing it? <laughs> I love you, Devin. <laughs> love uh, you too. My turn. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So on my turn, I'm going to go ahead and use my major healing potion to go up by five. It's not exhausted, uh, it goes by my. Yep. Uh, I'm going to use my minor stamina potion to go ahead and redraw two cards. It's not exhausted, it goes by my. Yep, yep, I'm getting this one. Um, and that one, perfect, perfect. Don't worry, I've still got items left. Not that I'm definitely not using that immediately. And the next turn, I'm still not seeing anything. Okay, uh, I am going to be taking a move three, push three. Um, I am going to stay Exactly, no. I'm gonna go one, two, three. Sadly, I need to be, I want to be by something. You could be by that number three. Could he theoretically push that three outside and it do nothing? Uh, I believe the special rules say they can't leave the tile. Hmm. Nor no, will they, they leave the tile, the tile yeah. Oh, yeah. So they can't. I think that's fine. The, the push is cool because it lets me immobilize a creature next to someone if I get them like adjacent to it, but mm. it's not that big of a deal. And then I have uh, Disarm at a range 3 and Curse if the target is adjacent to an ally. Well, guess what? Everyone's adjacent to an ally. Uh, those do block line of sight though, correct? Uh, no, they don't. Oh, really? Yeah. Ranged don't. Oh. That's why I was able to shoot over. Right. Well, the 6 is kind of weak. Am I able to see through my ally to this one back here? Yeah, it's pretty easy. You just do that, and now you can see pretty clearly. Well, let me ping the one behind Alex, then, with a I range... I thought that was funnier than any reaction. With a I range got, so. three, I I apologize. Uh, disarm, and curse. So, that wolf back here. Number yeah. four, yeah. Number four is going to be disarmed, and is going to be cursed, Alex, which is oh, your cool. source. Yeah. What, what do I do? What do I so do? you got the curse. Oh, one of these. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. I just have to imagine. How do you disarm a, a wolf, by the way? It's just out of curiosity. A oh, catnip. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, have, I have to imagine that he's thinking, like, I have played the past thousand hours of this game either by myself or with professionals. He's like, this is and the dumbest game reason, of Gloomhaven I've ever And for ever some reason now, to. I'm sitting here with these buffoons. <laughs> Same right. way you disarm a viper. <laughs> okay. Catnip? So, I'm going to go ahead, and I am going to generate, well, first of all, I can take my turn before my mount, interestingly enough, so it does change the equation. So right now, this wolf's currently disarmed. The three is, the, I'd love to take out the three. I could probably take out the three. I would love for you to take out the three. I got yeah. it to six, there. I think. So what I could do is I'm going to go ahead, and I may choose to act before my summon, but I don't have to. So I'm going to go ahead and use my summon to attack the wolf behind me, because he has one health, right? The number six is should be almost Number dead. six is yeah, one health. Number yeah. six is so one. I'm going to go ahead and perform, uh, and it's, it's no longer strengthened, right? The strength is right. gone. Okay. Yeah. So that's going to be gone. So hopefully we just don't get a minus one. Please don't be a minus one. Cool. He's dead. Okay. So we're going to kill that adds guy. four more. Yep. That's going to be, this is going to go away. And we'll add that here and take yeah. one off there. Right. So that's at okay. 23 now? 23. Yep. That wolf's dead. That's going to be my mount operating. Um, although interesting, because I just possibly minorly screwed up because I didn't move. Right? So I mm. could... I could mildly screwed up. Um, I could just walk off my mount, which I might do right now. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and walk off my mount. Could you move me off my mount three next to the? I'm gonna go one. No, no, no. Going to towards the, the other wolf that's almost dead. I don't care what the treasure does, Dusty. Just to be clear, okay. Uh, one, one closer, one closer. Yeah, and then no, one higher. What are you doing? <laughs> there, there we go. You were next to it, so yes. you said one closer. I meant, I meant from <laughs> where I closer. was. From where I was. It's, all, it's obvious. I'm going to go ahead and boost up the green, but I'm actually immediately going to immediately decline it. I'm going to immediately consume it with an attack three. Doesn't it just plus consume one? one, though? No, it consumes it fully, right? Doesn't it consume it fully? Mm -hmm. oh, whenever you consume an element, it does it immediately. Uh, it goes to, the, it goes, yeah. goes to inert, not cool, winning. Oh, perfect. Uh, attack three. Uh, so it's going to be attack four with advantage, so I'm going to be drawing two cards. And picking the best one, and I get one experience, which I'll definitely make sure to note. 
And we're gonna go ahead and get. Currently, the Alex is the only one marketing experience. Why wouldn't I? Because I have at the end of the game, I'll be like, I have more experience than all of you, even Monty. <laughs> Uh, we have a, oh, oh uh, that's oh, really good that you did oh. strength. Yeah, advantage. Um, uh, so it's dead. It's dead. Four four damage short, which means it's dead dead. And then so add another this out over here. We move that one down. So it's twenty seven. Yep. So it only needs six more damage Correct. to kill it. Two more. Yeah, two more hounds. Okay. Or a retaliate. And... Yeah. Now I still shuffle my deck, right? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Wow, that was that was brutal. Uh, that's gonna be everything, I believe. So I went with the Panther first. I thought the initial speed and retaliation would be really helpful. The problem is I made a hard pivot and, and started going with more of a defensive aspect where I'm the target and not my mount, which kind of negates the entire point of the Panther. So I kind of wasted a little bit of time there, but I'm still learning this character. I think I have a better feel for what I want next. I'm gonna mess with the Gorilla next because I think he has a little more, well, health and a little more jumping ability because Jesse's been trying to get that treasure chest the entire time and just couldn't. I kind of want to snatch a treasure chest from him, so. Let's, let's try the eighth. Let's try the gorilla and see what happens. All right, that's all our turns. Great. Mm -hmm. So I'm down to one card, so I think I might be resting this turn. Question, guys. Should I jump over the rocks to yes. get the treasure chest? Absolutely. But I don't think I can get back from there. That's okay. We don't need you. <laughs> that's fine. You can die in the corner. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, because as soon as we the kill the sly hound, the sooner we get out, the better. I hear. Your but... summon, you might want to capture it before <clears throat> we... Yeah. Uh, before, all we, right. before we left. So, uh, before, once we kill the Sly Hound, otherwise... Isn't there a lost. short rest option where you play one card and then... Oh, as soon as we kill, kill the Sly Hound, we eject from the room? Uh, we want to, oh, gotcha. because, because the they other hounds are still there. they can't leave. Right. Can't um, you do so, a short rest where you... So you can't hey. just play one card. Um, you can't, yeah. If you do a short rest, you lose a random card but you can from take your one hand, damage. and then, yeah, and then you take the rest back. Okay, you so have if I, one card, so, right? so I, I have you one. You have to do a short rest, or a long rest. Yeah, I'll just do a long rest. That means you're giving up your entire turn. Yeah. So, you, eh? so you're not going to be doing anything. A short rest would not give up your turn. What does what the short rest do? Short re the difference between a short rest and a long rest, short rest pulls back all the cards into your hand. Yeah. You lose one randomly. You can pay a damage to choose a different one to lose instead. Not choose, to randomly have a different okay. one. <laughs> then long rest will, re will swivel up your cards. Any of your cards that have this symbol over here will swivel up. The cards that were not discarded. Yeah. It will also heal you for two. And you'll get to choose the card you lose, but you give up your entire turn. Yeah, I may just do long rest, yeah. All right, so no turn for me. Are you all resting yet? I'm not resting. I still didn't go. We okay. should do that too. Oh, yeah. So, you so care I, about other people's turns, Devin. Shut up. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> so number four has how much health left? It's full health. I'm going to start helping the team. Oh, now <laughs> you are. Now you are. Is it because so you I'm feel incentivized? I'm going to move three jump. All enemy move through suffer one damage. So he's up to 28 now? Yeah. So if we can do one more damage in in it like indirectly, mm -hmm. and then kill one more wolf, wolf, it's done. Like mm -hmm. if you were using bombs, then I'm. Going I've used to... projectiles twice. You yeah. just walked in. You're the worst support character I've seen personally. I gave Alex a prayer and then absorbed a lot of damage from you. So from me, protected you with my Actually, body for about two months. Jesse's been going on about how he left him off a list of videos. So maybe I'm the worst support character. <laughs> I'm going to attack 5, push 2, and curse, consuming both of these, but then immediately refreshing them with the card. Plus 1 is 6, so I'll push them here, so I don't have the retaliate. But the, what number is that? Um, and he got 6 damage on number 4. What? Number 4, my lord. He still has the storm, right? Yeah. We cast that last turn, yeah. And that is it. That's pretty good. Oh, Six man. damage is pretty good. Okay, so if, right. if I take out him, we just need to take out one other one, and then the Sly Hound is dead. Either yeah. two other wolves or peripheral damage of some sort. I got nothing yeah. on peripherals. So yeah, but four is almost dead. <clears throat> Can I use the minor stamina potion to get cards back? Even, or because I'm down to one, I have to do. No, you. Typically, you do it during your turn. I know a lot of people who do it after because they forget during their turn. Yeah. But yeah, it so can, you could have done yeah. it. No, I'll, yeah. I'll just do a long rest. I'm fine. If you yeah. don't, if you did do that though, I would be able to help you more. Strategically, that would be great. Okay. Okay. Right, well, I've chosen. I'm going slow. It's gone. Okay. You're resting, right? I'm not. No, Devin? He's not. No, he's not. He's right going to draw back cards. Okay. Everyone else ready? I'm ready. Monsieur Devil? He told um, us a while ago he's a slow character. Turn, Lickery. 
It's okay, he found the audio pitch just low enough the camera will pick it up. Yeah. You have to go back like 20 seconds and turn it all the way up and see if you can pick it out. If you can, make sure to comment down below what Devin just said. It'll get blocked. Ready? It wasn't that bad. <laughs> I'm ready. 87. 32. 26. 76. 19. What is wrong oh with you? Oh my gosh. With a refresh. Add plus two attack as the target is adjacent to any of the hound's allies. So, uh... Don't be adjacent to hounds that are attacking in Paris. Well, they're going now, so... That's true. That's true. So, so 19 is first? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so the elite... Well, who's the first of us in order? Um, Me. Which is okay. That's better than you, the Jesse. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, so the elite will do an attack of... Zero. Not at four. Four. Which I'm going to drop four. by one, and that's going to just be three. Okay. Okay. Then in order, number two, what's their move? Move four. The plate mail, once I've finished with it, just One, gets exhausted, right? Two, three, four. Um, I've, yeah, I've gone yeah but you can refresh the, it with yeah. the long rest. Yeah. yeah. Are they going to attack uh, Alex's so, yeah. mount? Yeah, they're going for it at disadvantage. That's okay, that's okay. Negative one, perfect, okay. Oh, negative one it is, we'll do that one. And it's currently doing uh, two, two damage then? Two damage. Plus... Plus two, because it's adjacent to the ally. It is just an ally, so four damage. So he's gonna be dead, isn't he? Yeah. <clears throat> well, it's been it's been fun, buddy. You're useless. What kind of? And the card I gave him doesn't help his ally. Right. Are you even tracking the card I gave you, Alex? Uh, which one? Yes, that's one for me. All right. Next we have number three. He's gonna move here. Number three, below. And he's gonna attack. He misses. You gotta reshuffle. That's uh, so we do it at the end. Oh, do you? Yeah. Mm. Um, the more you know. So he misses. Number four is disarmed. He's still gonna move. Who knows, how to, who knows the game? Let's see. His path is through here. He's disarmed, so he's not gonna attack. And then number six. One, two, three, four. Okay. Oh man, that's, that's, too that's a lot of Yeah, you can jump over to that. Yeah, and then you know the other thing is, is mm -hmm. as soon as that one dies, yeah. and there's all those other wolves in there, and the Who three of us run next? out, and uh, you're over there. Devin, I shuffle up. De Devin, are you next? Yeah. Yep. And then 26. Yeah, yeah, I'll shuffle these. What are you doing? Hmm. Well, I was going to use that move. To not suffer damage, but I wasn't anticipating them going, going before me. Yeah. So things have changed. Move faster, my lord. <laughs> I hate you. You're the worst. If you played, I believe it was called Lords of the Realms, if I'm not mistaken. Old game was like, yes, my lord. Please, my lord. Move number four. My lord. Has number four taken damage? Number four, yes. yeah, it just needs two more to die. I'm gonna move here, which I can attack can, from, yep, the from the door. From the door. And then I'm going to attack four at a range of three. Uh, I'm not able to add my additional because it wasn't suffering damage from a projectile. And then, yeah, just attack four. At a plus three, if this is a projectile, which it is unfortunately not. <laughs> However, it like everything, you it have will is kill it anyway. It's like it will kill it anyways. So that that only needs one more damage, right? Um, He's at thirty-two. Yeah, thirty-two. It's a noxious number. Yeah. Hmm. And I'm done. Okay, moving now to me. Uh, move of three with a jump. Give one ally move through with this action one prayer. If we have light imbued, which we do, I'm going to jump through here. Still helping Alex. What's up with that? Is that the best? One, two. I like what a ball is. I'm going to go one, two, three. I don't want to be there. All right. Uh, gonna we don't want you there either. Maybe. Alex, a prayer. Um, Alex. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna give a prayer that I've uh, given them another prayer used for you since you started your channel. Aspiration. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. It's like he's living on one. You're welcome. Uh, that is going to spend light, and then I have a. Is that what I was doing? Can I use these cards to avoid damage? No. Um, there is. I'm one wrong. Though that Alex, lets you. I'm not giving you that prayer. 
I used the wrong order of my cards. I'm gonna move three and bless to affect one adjacent ally. Alex, I'm gonna bless you instead of giving you a prayer. Okay. You're welcome. Uh, I could have blessed you. Yeah, we'll you forget could have blessed me. Is a prayer that says this could be lost. Gotcha. Now, you and all allies within a range of three, which should be all of us, may recover a collective total of up to six of your discarded cards. That is two for each of you. Right. I mean, I'm happy to take two back. I'd yep. love to. I only need one because I have one left in hand, so the okay. second one. So go. I can take one back yeah. as well. Great. Uh, and that is going to go ahead and view green and light. So, so I'm going to give me an experience back. point. And the vocal sermon, which is what that card is called, is now gone. And for the record, boys, that's my jump card that I just sacrificed. So no one's getting a treasure chest today. Oh, darn. It's almost as if that's totally fine. <laughs> eh? Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna have some fun. What was your initiative? Uh, my initiative is 87. Okay, so I think I'm next at 76. So let's see which one has the most damage. There, none of them have damage. I will move. So, is there one that would be easiest for you to attack? Um, that's a reasonable question. I'm basically going with the basic move attack. I'm not really worried about exact detail. So, if there's someone I could, if you just give me someone that I can yeah, hit. Yeah, you can hit him. Then great. I'll hit him for two and call it a day. Uh, that is actually the only one I can't reach. Oh, but if I move here, then you can attack that one. Okay. Perfect. So, I'll move two, create fire. Then I will attack three, pierce one. Plus zero, so number two takes three damage. Okay. I may not be able to kill it then. We'll see. And that is it for me. That's unfortunate to a degree. Um, okay, I don't have any brilliant options, unfortunately. I do have the ability to go ahead and move two and smack him in the face, so I'll do that. <laughs> if you wanna, huh. yeah. If you wanna move me two next by next to him, so you're doing the move to heal too? Yeah, which is heal yeah. help me. I'm at max health. Okay. Can, can't take damage in this game. Uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and you say you can't take I damage. Can't, in this I can't game? take it. I can't. I'm just saying. What is what it is. And I'll go ahead and reveal this and boom, got that on there and two. And he's at five. So at this point, it's a kill and run kind of situation. You're right. Nice. <laughs> I think I bought everyone, what, one more round yeah, in yeah, this two. room? Yeah, let's put them two. Everything weighing everything down? Oh, I can't pick both. Weighing those. everything down? What is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And I'm good to go. All right. Mm, that's not going to work. And when you give someone a positive effect, it goes away at the end of their next activation, right? At the end of their next turn, yeah. Mm, it's a little bit of a waste, but it's okay. My plans changed based on how that went. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. Ready to go. Oh, sorry. Pulling 37. 33. 81. Now we know these guys are freaking fast. So I'm just gonna you have... can pick which one of the two yep. you want. Yeah. 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 I'm going to have Mutti draw one because if you draw a 26, All I'm going right. to stab you. Not a 26. Oh. 19. Is 19. <clears throat> Here you are, Alex. And I said 26. Oh, okay. You said you would stab him. Yeah, clear. But 26, not Specifically 19. 26. I said 19 19 is lower. Fine. That's reasonable. Yeah. I did not, it's on camera. I did not say 26 or lower. I said it was just 26. If you drew yeah. 26, you would have been stabbed. stabbed currently. I'm very happy for you. What are you, what good are you surprised by? Events. Oh, you're right. You don't understand algebra. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the wolves are all going to go because they're jerk faces. Now, that's a bit annoying. Hmm. Again, okay. I feel like Monty's sitting here going. Well, who's who's got the really lowest initiative? I believe I do. Devin, what do you have? I have an 81. Yeah, I have a 33, so I'm going to get hit 24. by 24. 20. Oh, you have 24. 24, yeah. So oh. you're safe for now. I didn't need to be safe. So the elite's well, At go. least from the elite. So the elite is going to do an attack six. Golly. And oh, oh that nice. Is glorious. That's it. So yeah. I take nothing. Okay. And um, we have the next one's going. Oh, we did not spawn that one. It's okay. Let's pretend he didn't spawn. Put him by Jesse. No, it goes, it goes in the back. <laughs> oh, oh, he actually order. spawns back there? I thought they just showed up near me. Yeah, they were just fighting wow. you. They were just coming okay. up. Yeah, that's right. cool. He's next number two is going to attack Chief Dane. That's yep. why I stayed back there so long. I was like, they're spawning near me anyway. Minus why not be near the treasure? Sure. It's smart. Yeah. So okay. it deals no damage, right? Minus three. Okay. And then next one. Next one. 
plus one. one, so I have shield two, but I take two damage, right? Okay. You can't. I did that. You did do that. And now number four is going to move how much? Four? Jesse, here's your prayer card back. Oh, thank you. All right. Say a prayer for you. What you What health are you at? I'm at 13 health. And plus zero on you. Um, oh, three, plus zero from there. So that's going to be three, so I'll take three damage. And now number six. Number six, my lord. Go for me. Minus, Minus one. one. Just so. two damage. Alright, one after my shield one. <laughs> and that's it for the hounds. Alright, I'm up. I think you guys got this, right? Mm -hmm. Someone can kill number three? Um, actually, uh, yeah, I might actually change one thing, just practically speaking. Number two attacked me, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and use Spike Shield on number two. Okay. And that will give me Retaliate two and Shield one. So I'll take one less damage on well, that. Well, number three attacked you too, so it's probably better to... I specifically want to do the damage. No. Two. That's yeah, number three. Oh, three, three, three. Sorry, yeah. and three. All okay, right, so we're doing number three, right? Yeah. So I do it on the attack, so I wouldn't. I would still have damage because that still no damage to me. Mm -hmm. But I do want the two damage to be perfect. So it's Three. a five and a one. Yeah, that's gives it much harder chance of me actually killing it this round. Yeah, so I'm just gonna run out because I can't reach him anyways. Okay. So Such a lurker move. One, <laughs> two, three, and then I'll yeah, I would never leave boots. room before we had the like creatures. Hand yeah, you know how we got really close to the end of this and that's yeah, has happened clear. to be when you left the treasure chest. Well, never my turn now, right? We just should hope that I don't draw a dis something that just goes down well, to whatever. Why did you say it? You said the 26 thing. You're really good at manifesting. And he didn't draw a 26. Plus zero, we're good. It's okay. going to be two damage shot. He's dead. He's that's dead. number three. Yep, number three is dead and number the the, 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 the that guy's dead. All right, first boss is down, and I think we did a pretty good job in that room. And if we continue this pace, we'll be clear sailing. Uh, that's going to be that. And then, now with my other card, I can go as a basic, just a straight of two damage. And this is going to be a move five if we want to augment uh, the nature. And then I'm going to move five, running as far as we can. <laughs> you run me straight out the door. One, One two, two, three. three four. Good. Head now, have follow. Well, we're two over. There we go. Yep. Perfect. <clears throat> I'm just following nothing. He's the only one of us that knows what's happening. You're up. Me? Yeah. Okay, so let's just count real quick. One, two, three. No, four. Jesse. <laughs> no. <laughs> one, two, uh, one, two, three, four. I could go here or here. So here's the thing. I am quickly realizing that my pursuit of the treasure chest is probably ill-gotten and eh, not the right decision. I, I need to be helping the team more. And there's a spawn point back there. I'm never making it to that treasure chest. And if I do make it to that treasure chest, I'm not leaving that corner alive. I think I'm going to back off. I think I'm going to focus on just getting us out of here. I'm going to be resting, though, so I probably... My guy moves so slow. I feel like I'm parallel parking everywhere. Uh, I ended my movement Three next to turn. an ally. You do have those boots, so I'm right? going to go up. Yeah, yeah. Uh... I'm saving him for once I think that door opens. My attack is going to do nothing. I honestly played it because, I mean, it could have pinged do a wolf. Do a spite but attack. No, I, I could have pinged a wolf, I suppose, but I, I played it sheerly for the principle of uh, not getting rid of one of my X cards. Oh, that's so. fair. And then... And then it's my turn? Yeah. All right, I'm just going to not, unfortunately, use my heal, which I would have loved to, and then I'm just going to move out. I'm just gonna go one, two. So if you're resting next turn, you can refresh those boots. Yeah, if you, you want to do a long rest. Out. Yeah, I think it makes sense. I'm doing a long rest. Yeah, for all. Of it kind of seems like we time. all go into the yeah. pocket that is the safety of the hallway. And, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, turn towards each other and say, "What just happened? What just happened, what, Joe? We killed the wolf. What's the, what is wrong yeah, with you? Yeah, that was it. That's no, 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 one no. down, two no. to go. This two we, to go. Two to go. <laughs> we is an we is an inclusive term that seems to suggest that you're including Jesse in that. <laughs> Excuse the me. Three of us. Excuse me. A lot I did so much allyship. I'm long resting, which means I'm going to be healing two health. Yeah, all of us will. I'm going to be refreshing all my tapped cards. I will be taking back all the cards except for one that I can choose to discard. Let's yeah. Do a pack meal. All right. Seven. Eight. So nine. this is a good one to not take back, right? I should leave this one away, right? It's a risk, but... <laughs> okay. What are we getting rid of? Speedy Ostrich. <clears throat> Stupid Speedy Ostrich. Actually, I might get rid of the Speedy Ostrich, honestly. 
I'm, I'm gonna get rid of the speedy ostrich. That's what we're done. Speedy ostrich is gone. Seems unnecessary. Why don't you pick the... Um, I don't like anything avian. Why don't you pick the uh, dumb ass? It seems uh, really to type. Do I only have one card that lets good, me I give two cool cool player cards in my deck? Um, maybe that's all you have left. I'm like, I already invited you here. Like, you know. <laughs> it was too long. It was too slow. That one lets me give... Oh. Yeah, you burnt the two that give them? Hmm? Well, both my prayer cards, both cards that let me give people prayer cards, which is a real cool part of my mechanic, are... are you, saying you burned both you of burned? them? Well, the first one I had to get rid of when I didn't want to take damage. So, technically, I could have got rid of something else. Did they burn when you used them? This one burned when I used it to give us all back But cards. your singular one that doesn't burn, that's the only way you give prayers, that's the one you chose to get rid of? So... In retrospect. So, so when, when, whenever we like retroactively look back at that moment when Alex was like, Devin's not good at this game. No, it's clearly, it's clearly Jesse. Okay, cool. Uh, cool. I think back, honestly, I said pretty mean things about you earlier in the, um, the evening, and I, I think I chose the wrong person. I, I'm just, I'm gonna get rid of something else. Which isn't really how the game works, but... Uh, here, how about this? You choose something... Fairly consequential for me to get rid of Because <clears throat> I can't make a hard decision for myself But I feel like I should not get rid of one of the core mechanics of my character during a gameplay when we're trying to show off how cool I feel like these... Monty's next question is like you don't know any of my friends are right Jesse? Good because I don't want them seeing this damn video <laughs> <laughs> You mind getting rid of either of these? I both mind both of them you choose which one I'm getting rid of okay. it one of them hurt They're like actually I've been excited to use this whole game So it would make me sad. You're a mess. Well, you've used this a lot, uh -huh. never this. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming this is the one you're excited for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so this it is. Run this one. I'm getting rid of them. Fine. All right, now I still got to choose one to get rid of, which is a hard decision. Oh, man. God, there's reasons why I don't play Gloomhaven. Do you both, need... Both how complicated it is and you, how painful you, these decisions are. Do, do you need are. some bourbon? No, is we'll, this Hierophant about we'll to get, drink? We'll get bourbons eventually. I'm just going to need to make sure that I'm not uh, getting rid of like critical core decisions as I get rid of this card. This is a powerful card, but it doesn't look like anything major is You don't want to move it. three? At level six, everything's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, we've all refreshed. Yep. Mm. Man, I have so many new options. Uh, you do? Yeah, well, I mean, I got all my cards back. Hey, are you going to give prayers anymore? You know, I did figure that out. Thanks. Did you? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh, pal. Hmm. What lets me not kill everyone around me immediately? I have so many cards that leave. I love it, but it's... Where are my cards? I need a card here. Now it's so these go. move down. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Let's do... Ooh, it is not time to do that. Cause are we charging the confidently into the room? We can oh, we're a hundred percent charging confidently into the room. I mean, what else are we gonna do? Go kill some more wolves? I don't think so. I think it's time for my uh, bad boy to show up. Your donkey? No, 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 no. <laughs> not my donkey. <laughs> uh, hey, bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I'm ready. I'm mostly ready. Been ready for a while, Alex. I respect that. You don't respect much that I do, though. No. The Just cologne that, one, that one of you is wearing smells really good, by the way. I don't know which one of you it is, but one of you smells really good. It's probably not you, but it's one of the other two smells good. I don't know what's happening Thank right you. now, Devin. <laughs> sounds really uncomfortable. Well, I put on Old Spice. It's you our, then. Because our studio room is hot. Yeah, I actually thought about reapplying. <laughs> and I thought it would be nice for the people sitting around me. Apparently, though, one of them's a royal dick, so... <laughs> no, he hasn't used that summon yet. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go. <laughs> All right, uh, speed of 82. 94. 36. 15. And the wolves aren't doing yeah, anything, so we don't technically want. need to draw yeah. for them, right? Yeah. Unless yeah, the more wolves showing up, we can... We can honestly just throw that whole thing off the table. It's a legacy, it's a legacy game. Just throw it 
Just you set it up. Throw, throw it away. Okay. All right, so I'm going first. Yes, you are. I'm going to do a move three, and you can choose to augment the boots after the room reveal, right? Yeah. So I'm going to do a move three. So you can one there, and we'll read the section. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to open one book at this time. Let's see what section that is. Uh, 40, what's a... 45D. Yep. All right. <clears throat> the lamentations of a squealing pig echo through the hallway in front of you. Can this I write the, for you next time? The donkey time? boss. Oh, oh great. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get too excited. <laughs> <laughs> Pushing through the first gap in the trees, you find that the deep growling came from bears. There seems to be a clear leader, even more powerful looking and aggressive than a usual bear, which is plenty aggressive enough. As you enter the clearing, it is as if a line had been crossed. You are on their territory now, and they are ready to attack. Special rules. Oh, well, let's put the monsters up. Okay. So we got four bears, one elite. So let's see here. That's a lot of bears. Hand me, hand me bears this direction. Bear me the bears. Do bear we, me, do Blazer. Never stand me the other, stand yes, the other bears? Over there. Bear me, Blazer. Where are they? I don't know. They're somewhere over there. Here they are. No, they're not. <laughs> you pointed <laughs> all the way over here. I was looking for standees. The other side of the room, clearly. Okay. We need tree branches Has too, to Alex. Tools. tools. I got them, I got them. Okay. Tree branches. Yeah. Tree branches. Oh, hey, look, there's a treasure chest for Jesse to go after. I've learned my Can lesson. Can we just move this one? I doubt that. Oh, one. no. The designers of this literally, like, hid the treasure chests right behind big barricades that well, bears stand in. Part of the strategy in is to potentially just dike at the chest and then continue later. But we're not continuing later. Correct. We're just so. playing game. Okay, tree branches. Thank you so much, Alex, for handing me those. Absolutely. Really appreciate all the help. Uh, and we need uh, a little moss-covered rock, it looks like. There Foilage. There we are. Okay, and the conditions. All right, the elite cave bear is the Goring Grizzly, which gains shield four, because it's shield C, where C is equal to the number of characters. Perfect. And it is immune to poison. Oh, great. Mm. None of the monsters in the room will focus on enemies outside the D1B tile, nor will they leave the tile. When a cave bear is killed, reduce the shield value of the Goring Grizzly by one and spawn another cave bear in one of the hexes marked B at the end of the round. So take out four grizzlies, then take down the bear. Yeah, unless you have a attack with Pierce. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. How much health does the cave bear, the so, elite, have? Uh, 21. And we can't hurt it at all? We, well, so we can, it just has shield four. So every so we, we need to kill them to where it doesn't have any shield. Right, exactly. <laughs> or piercing. So maybe we should Piercing just put four. something to indicate the number of shields. Right about where I'm at. We've maybe got money this. tokens. Okay. Cool. All right. All right. right uh, so Devin, you're still taking your turn. I'm gonna move right here. How about you do something useful this time? See what the cave bears do first. Mm -hmm. uh, sure. Oh, that yeah. seems like a mechanical. They're not gonna go faster than him, though. Oh, yeah. uh, they're gonna, they're gonna shield. Yeah. after so it yep. doesn't matter so in this room the goring grizzly boss has shield equal to the number of characters so it has four shield but every time you kill a different cave bear that shield drops by one so the strategy that i would go for is to try to kill four bears quickly um, maybe even after the third one is killed if we have some pierce attacks then go straight for that goring grizzly um, once its shield is low enough completely ignore all the other bears kill it and get out well that's not fun go ahead there are three yeah well, they're not. Well, they're not going to interrupt your. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go right. here. They're going to interrupt all of us, though. Right. <clears throat> and then I'm going to. Hmm. Does its shield affect retaliate damage? Uh, no, like you just... punching it back. Right. It it, it it doesn't. Like I can. If I have a retaliate. It's it... not going to do anything this round because they are going to. They're not attacking. They're not going to attack me no. right now. No. And if you don't mind. If you could go here instead, because I can use that spot. Man, that sounded snooty. <laughs> I didn't like Excuse that. Excuse me, sir, I was already in line, I'm... so I just had to go grab some shampoo from the back. So are they, so are they not moving at all? No, no, they're just heal two, retaliate two, shield one. It's oh. actually a great starting card. Well, this is a terrible that. starting card, because I was going to go in and activate a bunch of... A bunch of right. retaliating shield. <laughs> yeah. I was just gonna let them swarm me. <laughs> right. So screw you, bears, licking your wounds. They're just all doing manicures right now. You know what? I'm not gonna use that right now. There's no point to it. I'm just gonna just use it as a basic attack of two. Right. Okay. So you're hitting two, number two, four, two, for three, four, three. 
Oh, uh, not yet. The doesn't it it doesn't activate yet. Which what is was why, his speed? My oh, speed is 15. Yeah, right, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was trying to run in and let so, them all So, Alex, out. three damage on number two. So just give it one because they're going to heal two. Okay. okay. So all of them are going to heal up. All of them are going to have a retaliate. All of them are going to have a shield. Right. Okay, so no one else touched them. Well, melee or range damage doesn't have retaliate on it. Correct. No. Uh, I'm still 82, so what are you guys going? I'm, I'm 36. Uh, you're next. Let's see. They have retail two. You know that someone is a veteran Gloomhaven when they have abbreviations. If you didn't hear that, he goes, they got retail two. <laughs> Was that not cool yes, to anyone yes. else? He didn't say retaliate. He has his own shortened abbreviation language for this game. That's cool. Like, ah, uh, got the calf bees in here. Alex, do you have any prayer cards in your hand still <laughs> no, or no? No, no. Ah. Then I played the wrong card. I'm just going to leave. Yeah, no, all I'm saying is if you actually played Glue, you'd know this. I'm, gonna, I'm definitely not <laughs> shoving out a card for a different card. Don't worry about me. I'm going to ignore what I'm doing. It's a bad time to take a drink. Great. I'll go here. Did you change out a down. card play? No. <laughs> Did you <laughs> change out a card just play? changed out a card play. All right, I'm going to do an attack three. I thought Alex still had a prayer card. No, he gave no. it back to you after he did all the shields. Yeah. So first I'm going to attack him. It's not going to do much damage, but it will immobilize him, so it's still worth doing the attack. Okay. So plus one. Because they've already gone, immobilize will last through next round? Yeah, until yeah. the end of his next turn. So as long as no one ends near it, it's not going to hit anyone. Nice. So we'll immobilize the elite, which is number one. I got a token. I got a token. Okay, I don't need a token. <laughs> and then I don't will attack anymore. one of them with an attack through poison. Okay. Ooh. So I'll take two Augment damage. Knight. It's already max. Yep, it's already up. Oh, it, does it, does, oh that generates yeah. it. And number, yeah, number four will take two damage because it has one shield. So that and that's poison. you, Alex. That's um. Hey, what's on? I'm saying that. But, <laughs> sorry, I apologize. Poison. That was the most two. beautiful on camera yawn ever. <laughs> it is late. I need poison. Yeah, oh, it's perfect. I mean, the name of the show is past two a.m. That's fair. Well, by the time we finish it, will be an accurate so Two damage on number... I would say... You, you need to capitalize the AM. It just bothers me. Every time I see it and the AM is lowercase, it just bugs me. Yeah? you got to capitalize it, man. He's capitalizing uh, all over us. In general. Here. I, I tried to find a joke there. It just no, it's just in general. That was my turn. All right. Here's another one. Uh, heal three, range three. Does anyone desperately need healing other than me? Uh, no. I, I mean, could, I don't mind. I can I'm, use it. Give it Fine. 10 then. You can yeah. use it? We're both yeah, at 13, not, yeah. Not uh, as bad as you, probably. So, I've got a move of 5, um, and I've got a heal uh, of 3. Give him the heal. Yep. I'm well, actually, wait. Do you have a healing potion? So, I'm going to move. I do. One, if you need the healing more, you can two. We're tied right now, and we have the same max. Uh, Alex, do you need the door? Um, No. Okay. I do have a healing potion, so if you need the health, take it. I'm going to heal you for 3. You sure? Yeah. I just offered it to him. Uh, but it's your choice. He's the guest. If I die, it doesn't matter. You're 13? Alex. You're... <laughs> right. Alex is falling asleep. No, I'm just not falling. What are you telling me to do? Tell me to do. I'm Devin, ready. I'm, I'm ready. ready. Devin, I'm going to heal you for three. Okay. Uh, now, you get an <laughs> now, you get an attack of two against an adjacent... A figure adjacent to you, affected by this heal ability. Okay. So is that an you, attack he's doing, or no, is your range doing attack it. I'm doing? You're okay, doing great. it, so that way there's he's, no retail. He's not going to get hurt, though, from that, no, unless yeah. I draw something, right? No, no matter what you draw, you're doing the attack, and you're not adjacent. I'm saying yeah. he's not going to get hurt. He's got right. a shield of two right now, unless I draw something. No, <laughs> regardless of his shield, he's not attacking. I'm talking about the bear, specifically. Oh, you're right. talking about no. Devin. No. Yeah, no, the, the bear might not get hurt. We'll see okay. if you draw. The bear gets hurt by one. <laughs> he kept correcting me. Where are we? Where are we up? To? What number? <laughs> Two. Oh, it's poison, so it's another I one. I get yep. that. <laughs> All right. Jesse, I know you invited me here for a gameplay, but he won't get hurt. Yeah. Uh, all right, I've already moved. I ended adjacent to a ally, so I'm going to generate light um, and... That's it. That's my that's my turn. So you thought 16 health was an appropriate number, is what you're saying? Okay, just checking. Um, okay, cool. My turn. I'm gonna go ahead and summon a little gorilla. So we're gonna top pop my little summons back. We're gonna go with a green one over here because I think the green is an appropriate color for the little gorilla over there. 
And I'm going to put this down next to me, if you don't mind, on the other side. And then if you could just walk me onto it. And then I go ahead now and walk it up. Now walk it up. That's my turn. Nice and simple. We got a little landing gorilla in play. The pack mule's gone to my uh, discard over here, and we're good to go. All right. Ready to go. All right. Pick new cards. Have you already picked your cards? Yeah, Devin. Don't act at all like... I'm playing that, the game? That's a measure of an impressive move. Don't act at all like I'm playing the game. So he's not going to move. He probably won't move. So if I put a projectile here, here, mm -hmm. I have the ability to do some stuff. <clears throat> You're making so many breathy and gur guttural noises. I don't know, man. Maybe it's this Red Bull you gave me. Hmm. Oof. I like. Spend, oh. I spend entire videos like suppressing a tickle, and you're just counteracting that by like tenfold. Oh, Devin's yeah. over here like. <clears throat> Why else? Why else would I do that? Hey, if you want more guttural Wait. noises, by the way, Devin runs his own show. It's called Devin Talks Tabletop. Uh, link will be probably somewhere down below. You can always swing over there and check it out. Gives okay. you as much guttural noise as you. How like. much health do the bears have total? Sixteen. Six, each one. Did you miss the part two minutes ago? I said you think sixteen was an appropriate number, to Mati? I, well, I had sixteen health, so I thought you were making a joke, and I oh. was. I, I spent like two minutes trying to figure out what the <laughs> joke was, and I genuinely wow, didn't. Wow, you just anything mean back? It's so polite. Yeah, I just, I was trying to. Figure I was out looking what over here. I was like, about. I was like, so sixteen is an appropriate number. That's mm -hmm. what it is. Okay. Yeah. Jesse, did you guys had sixteen health? Who? The bears. I realized that you were saying something. Okay, cool. I thought you were talking about your own player board, and you were like, so my character, because you realized the bears, other than the level we're fighting them on, wasn't actually designed, like these sure. are part of the core sure. original Gloomhaven, so it's not it's not really That's your fair. decision, right? That's right. Fair. right. Uh, so it's almost as if I understood the joke and also re-implemented the joke in a way that would have made Always sense, ready. logically. So, <laughs> to be funny. 33. 13 for you, 11 for me, 61. You're pretending as if I wasn't waiting on you nice. and buying time for you. I had already picked while you were talking. Yeah, we picked a while ago. Uh, do I go first? Draw I the bears, first. please. We did, 16, 61. Whoa. That cave bear's targeting two people each. You go first at 11, I, nice. I do. So I'm going to heal two on myself. And all attacks targeting me this round are disadvantaged. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to target two individuals for my projectile damage. And I'm gonna target here because he's immobilized, correct? Mm-hmm. And this is as this is gonna have a pierce two value. Got it. So it will at least do one damage. Yep. And if we kill a bear, by the time it launches next round it would do mm -hmm. two damage. Okay, cool. I'm gonna target there and there. Or do you think you gave me the same look you gave me when I killed the wrong wolf, and by killed I mean didn't do anything to it. Mm -hmm. Should I focus on the other lesser bears? No, I mean, if you have an attack with Pierce, it's fine. It'll cut through. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's worthwhile. Okay. Alrighty, then I'm done. I've shot my projectiles and I've okay. healed myself. Uh, I've got a 13 value. Alex, do you beat that? What? 13 value what? Of action. You, yeah, you go ahead of me. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do... Um, a shield one affect all allies within range two, which should be all of us at the moment. Uh, if you affect only one ally, I'd be able to give them a prayer card, but I'm not. So everyone has one shield for nice. this round. Uh, and then moving down here, oh, I sub up green. And then I have a move three uh, and a bless. I am going to, Alex, do you need the doorway? I do not need a doorway. Okay, I'm gonna stay exactly where I am then and I'm gonna uh, bless you. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Your thumb went in my eye. <laughs> it was supposed to be more of a, like a yeah, forehead yeah, smack. Like a, I bless and you, you. your yeah. nose got in the way. <laughs> my nose got yeah. in the way of got where you way. shoved your hand. It did. <laughs> blocked the, blocked the, you know, the nice smack that was. Meddy's is currently like shouldn't have come back after this long rest. He needs, he needs <laughs> a blessing. He's just gone a blessing. Okay. This goes into my. You shuffle it in, yeah. Do I shuffle, shuffle all of it in? No, just, no, the, just the boss. Yeah. That's my turn. That is, by the way, how the great oak blesses people, so be careful what you ask for. You okay? Uh, Masi, to you. All right, I'm going to attack three, consume dark for stun. Nice. So which, you just attacked bear number four. Oh, any nice. element mm. to generate any element. Uh, so convert green. 
Wait, which one you did you need stun? It? No, because I'm going to generate it. Oh, wait, no, so the attack is that range. to generate. Um, Use black. Fire. You want to fire up? Yeah. Okay. And plus one. So that's attack four stun. And number four, does four have poison? Nope. All right. Does your lurker. Is he balanced in all things, or have you kind of pushed him towards a couple different elements? So he has different builds depending on the elements. He has four elements. Ice, dark, light, and fire. Okay. Okay. And uh, so, so you don't do air stuff. and earth really at all. Right. Okay. My turn. Um, and then I'm gonna do the bottom attack to move one. Well, first I'll move here to generate ice. So ice goes up. And then the attack two. Which attack two? Actually, if I move... Did we do any damage if I on your attack here, three? You're not going to get yeah, hit. That's probably a better idea. Um, but the only problem is if you go there, I won't hold again in the room. Yeah, okay. he's going to be standing in front Never of me. Never mind. All right, attack two. Generate fire. Okay. Mm. So that's so, two on bear number four. But doesn't it have shield? doesn't have any shield right nope. now. Oh, no, it's nope. a new card. Okay. Okay. I move one. I will move. Do you need my spot for any other reason? Nope. All right, so Alex, it's on just, the, uh, or did the bears go? Nope, not yet. My little one is going to hop into there, if you want to pop him right in front of you, Jesse. Cool. Yep, and it's going to go ahead and smack him for two, so we're going to draw a card for little, little hey. gorilla. Which one? I'm um, smacking the, I'm going to smack the one with poison, <laughs> so the two over there. Um, have PTSD now. So we're going to hit him, and we're going to get a, okay, it's going to be pierced, which won't make a difference. We're going to augment fire, don't make a difference, so we do two damage to that one. So that's a wound. Okay. That's a wound, sorry, wound. Yeah. Uh, wound, okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. Um, uh, and then we're going to go ahead, and wound is one damage a turn, right? When is that, right, right? Yep. Okay, it's perfect. Okay. How much damage two. does that one have? So, oh, he has three, though, because he already, he already has poison. Right. So he has three. So we're, we're currently looking at five in that stack, and the three, so we're at eight currently. So eight half currently. health on that one? Yep, but then I'm about to attack it, and I'm going to... Does the eat. other one have a five mm -hmm. damage in it? Like, does it have up to five damage on the other bear? No. Mm. I'm going to go ahead and smack it over here with this one over here for uh, six, consuming... Oh, now I'm going to have to generate this first. Oh, interesting. Yeah, let's go ahead and generate that. Okay. May have tackled, we mismanaged that a little bit, but I Clean think it's fine. Uh, and then I'm going to consume it right back down. Sorry, could have left it there. My apologies. And I'm going to deal attack six, and hopefully we don't get any negate. We have a push and a immobilize. Ooh, that's mm. useful. That's very useful. So that's going to be a total damage of seven because of that. So I'm going to deal seven to it, plus his current eight, which means he's dead when he activates, right? Yeah. Cool. Wow, that's, that's nice. interesting. That's going to be uh, that over there. And we can take all these things off over here. And well, which one is that? Gonna, can you just leave tokens? it? Yes. Can you leave the wound on it so we know which one to take off? When we, oh, okay. sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I will go ahead and gain my experience because I'm doing that properly, Devin. Um, and then we'll go ahead and, and I think it's one more team. Push, no, push the material. He's dead. Okay. okay. We are waiting for Bears to act now. Yeah. The He's lead guy is going to away. Two dies. Which yeah. is great for the targeting that I did. Yeah. The lead guy is immobilized. Yeah. Okay. So they're both staying there. Four is going to attack. Target Both of two. you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. So first I'll attack me for, what is it, a minus one, base of four. Come on, so cancel, cancel, Three, cancel. plus one is uh, four. Neutralizes. I'll take three with the shield. Okay, then he's attacking Alex. Okay. Uh, Alex, you still have a shield, don't I still, forget. I, do, I have a shield. Yeah, I, you gave, I gave it to you. Clipping, minus oh, two, amazing. Beautiful. So minus three to a base attack of four, which should be one. One damage, yep. And this bear here is going to push forward how far? Move zero. Move plus Move zero right now? So move plus move zero. four. Well, here, what number was this one, though? Two. This was two. Uh, two acts before three, so three That's plus actually four. great, because I took that off thinking that it was yeah. going to be useless. This one steps into here, and it's going to be targeting Devin, because Devin has the highest. Yeah, or is it I both went of first. Both, both, both of them. Target, yeah. uh, so first swinging at Devin first. You've got a shield of one right now. Four plus zero, three damage coming to you. Um, I'm going to... Three. Yep. I'm gonna block it, it all. Alex, same thing. Yep. You've got uh, four damage coming towards you. I'll take it all. Okay. And we are back up to Actually, the top of the round. Four uh, damage. I'll take it. I've got my card selected. Okay. Just proving that I can, Devin. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say something. <laughs> okay. Let's see. So. I remember why I got rid of this card that does abilities. The the other prayer card that I did, I think it was a good time to use oh, that we, one. We all had shield that round, did we? Yeah. yeah. 
Oh, I didn't uh, take my damages if I had the shield. Oh, did you? Oh, we had a oh. shield one. Everyone else did. I did the math for everyone else. Oh, then yeah, I did it right. Then. Okay. Um, I remember why I got rid of this card, even though I kind of stole it back. Mm -hmm. This prayer only really activates if I can affect one individual person, right. which in this group right now, it, it's harder. And it's four harder players. to do that. Right. Um, whereas the other card that I got rid of for a fair reason. Because it was it let us all extend our turn by a whole cycle, which right. is which is valuable. Yeah, it, it's also one of those that uh, I'm ready. gives me prayers. So me too. Okay, ready. Fourteen. Fourteen. Twelve. Nineteen. Back up. Twelve. Come on, dude. Forty-five. Why is this a competition? <laughs> <laughs> they think we're all on a team. 80. I just have to make sure I go before them. I'm on protect all Hacking and when do we spawn in new beers? Uh, yeah. One you know, we do one in the back. Here, here. You think I'm asleep. Alright. Monsieur Devon. So I'm going to activate my projectile from last time, which is attack three, pierce two for both of those. Nice. So this one has no shield. No shield. Really. So attack it's, three, draw a modifier. So it's going to be four damage. Four to damage into bear number three. And this will be at least two damage coming in. So it's going to knock it down to, yeah, it's going to be at least uh, two, go and ahead then and it's going to be... Oh. That's unfortunate. Wow. That look I gave you is for a reason. Why? <laughs> no, you remember the last time you said I gave you that look, and then you pulled a miss? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I just... Right, looks like next, next time you give me a look, I'm not going to do anything. <laughs> I'm just going to um, stop. Well, actually, I need to do the rest of my turn. <laughs> I think that happened last time. Just oh, should like I have only... Stuff. Should I should I not have reshuffled that? Right, yeah, so you can take the miss out. So, this was. Um, okay, there we go. Um, where was I? Well, you were taking your turn. I'm actually doing yeah. my turn now. Yeah, that's yeah. what it was. So. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's fine. <sighs> that's not what I wanted to do actually, but um, I'm just gonna shield one. <laughs> I'm just gonna shield one. And then not move because I can't. And then I'm going to do. Oh wait, this guy he didn't suffer damage from a projectile, did he? No. Yeah, son of a gun. So I'm actually gonna not do a shield one. The front bear did. The back bear did not. Yeah, but this is a ranged attack, and it would be a disadvantage mm -hmm. on the front bear. So I'm gonna do this the opposite way, and I'm gonna do an attack four with a range of three and target two. So I'm gonna attack both of these. At a attack of four. Okay. So this is going after number four, which is a zero. So that's four damage against number four. Good. Okay. Can and we get a five over there to see what it's actually yep, at? Yep. yep. <laughs> there you go. And Tell Alex ten. Do his job. Ten, ten, ten. So it's at ten now. Yep. Yep. Okay. Good. And it's then it's got gone, sixteen right? health. And then you're doing the, this one, so it's at zero. If you get a good modifier, though, it could be a solid it's hit. It's attack four, so it's going to do it's one damage right now. Because it's, it's got, got shield three. three. Oh, we got dropped we by killed one. one. So, plus yeah. zero. So it does one, one damage, damage at least to that one. Or, man. No, I'm too far away one. from that back one. Is it immobilized? And then, uh, not, not anymore. anymore. And then I have retaliate to range three, so that just is a static for the mm -hmm. rest of the round, right? Okay, I'm done. Gonna keep this uh, Alex, let mm -hmm. me go first. We both got fourteen. Is it yeah. a choice or is it the next we card? We both got fourteen. Is it the next card or is it a choice? By rules, it's the next card. Oh, is it? Yeah. Fourteen eighty one. Uh, fourteen nineteen. That's you then. Yep. Okay. So um, I love how he's saying by rules as if there's a chance we won't follow the rules. <laughs> he's like these guys obviously have been following the rules. I'm gonna the jump whole game. over the. Um, actually, do I want to jump over there? I probably don't want to jump over there. I can go first. That's interesting. So yeah. I can immobilize this guy if you want to move out of here. That way, if you, you leave, I time. I can do the best if you leave someone that I can kill. I'm worried about the fact that the bears are going to smack car at this round. Right. Again, I I can take someone out. I've got a I've got so an attack wanna, of like, three coming here, in. Then you won't get hit by anything. But can I hit them still? Yeah, you can hit. Yeah, you can What's move that? on to here. Which bear is that? You can hit number three. And the three currently has four. four. Can his can... mount get him onto yeah. obstacles? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's uh, jump. difficult terrain. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm going to jump onto it. Okay, so go ahead and jump yeah. me on there. Okay, and then my mount is going to start by smacking him in the face. With is, this, is this your ostrich? No, this is my, uh, my summon Low land gorilla. gorilla. Nice. We have a plus two, so this will be a four damage to it. That's Which? four damage. We'll take one of these off and pop that. That's going to bring you to eight. And then I'm going to follow that up with an attack three and mobilize. Uh, we're not done yet, actually. Um, based on where I was before... <laughs> we're not sorry, done sorry, yet. Sorry, well, I'll be... 
um, it does change a bit. I was over here, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna attack. Change the order, but you'll see why in a second. Um, so I'm attacking with myself first. So that's gonna be my attack. My okay. Attack to be immobilized. So we'll do one more damage to him instead of that. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and do shield two and heal one. Affects self and all allies within range three. All the stone doesn't matter because it's range three either way. But anyway, mm -hmm. I'll keep with it. So we'll all shield two You'll and heal one. You'll see why I'm doing that in a second. We'll see. Sorry, I, I, I thought it was range two. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put this in play, and this will go right in the round. Did you mention something like that? Um, and then we'll go ahead and then do the attack two, which will be with another modifier, which is times two. Oh, that order messed up. Okay, four, four damage uh, to it again. So that's fine. I'll stick with that. <laughs> and then we'll put the five over here and remove one over here, and we're at thirteen health. So it only needs three left, and the other one only needs six left. Yep. Yeah. I've got an attack of three. I prefer if you leave that one for me to kill. Okay. And then this goes away, and this uh, goes over here. Okay. What about right. me? Draw minus use... one. Swing it at me. Okay, uh, I've got an attack of three. I'm gonna. By the rules, it's the number. I'm gonna use my stamina potion to draw back two cards. Ping. This one here. Uh, I'm hoping that I kill it because if I kill it, I get to bless someone. Plus zero, three should be enough to That's go ahead it. and take it out. So now main bear right. has only shield. Two. Uh, and I believe yeah. I have a range two. Uh, blessing. Mm -hmm. So, Alex, come here. No. I'm good. He I'm did good. it though. Okay. Fine. Good. Devin just got blessed. That's all good. You're blessed. It's all good. <laughs> what did I? What did I get blessed with? <laughs> I love how he came forward head first. Still, though. I'm distracted. I'm planning <clears throat> my turns. He was like, "What do you want this?" Oh, I need to turns. shuffle because of that. That. Um. Uh, great. So that's. I think that's about it. I love how. Muddy like three times now has been. He's like we when someone's like asked to rule questions. He's like I've been. His look is just quiet. It's like I've been waiting for you to realize that you screwed up on that. <laughs> <laughs> one of these days. Uh, Why is Sage like me? And no one has a prayer card right now, so this other card's just kind of gonna cycle. I've got two move that I can use. The question is, is there any reason for me to not just be in the doorway right now? And I, I think being there lets me help you all without me being... Am I going to be targeted? Four's not going to come after me, correct? Right. Yeah, so I'm yeah, good. Yeah, you're safe there. Cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay right there. Great. So here's the thing. I think I've played really well, uh, if, I, if I do say so myself. My objective here is to kind of stand in the doorway and let everyone else absorb and do damage. Absorb and do damage. I really can't take many hits. We learned that with the Wolves, and I'm gonna be a team player as much as possible. If I'm down to two cards left in my hand, I can still make a play, but then I have to quick rest, right? Yeah. Long rest. Or long or short rest, yeah. Okay. All right, I'll move here with the bottom, consume ice to heal three self. <laughs> and then I will do an attack four immobilize on both of them. Nice. Start with the elite. Miss, oh. but he's immobilized. And the other one, minus two, so that's two damage on number four. And they're both immobilized. Didn't you kill one? I took out this one, yeah. So we need the damage off of number three. Number three you killed? Yeah. Yeah, yep. Okay. Okay, okay. And that's it for me. So those two, these two aren't moving. Right. So they can't move. On their this neck. guy's going to move, though. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's going to move minus two. Which means he's still moving, too. Yeah. So he'll move right here. <laughs> and then he'll... feel bad about telling me to move? Just checking. <laughs> well, that guy can't. <laughs> could hit you. Just checking. Okay. So he attacks at a minus one. Uh, yep, okay. he attacks for three with wound. Now I do have shield two, which is right. helpful, but yeah. only so helpful. So you get one, and then you so also get wounded. Two damage. Yep. Two, two plus damage. a wound. You're wounded. That's not a wound. <laughs> Go ahead, Devin. Do it again. That's like every joke Devin makes. He's like, <laughs> I hurt you. You're like... What, they don't land? Yeah. Oh. I got a wound. I got a wound. I mean, I knew that's where it was going. I was just... <gasps> Hoping that we'd move on, so um, I didn't have my hurt. I don't know where the wound. Is. I got a wound. I got a wound. Okay. So do I. <laughs> All right. Next round. Uh, we can any elements. If you didn't already. I'm ready to go. Me too. I'm ready Definitely. to go too. I don't have any other options as well. <laughs> uh, playing at a. 
All right. 25. 32. 81. 24. 60, 60 on the cave bears. Okay. Uh, my first. I think what so. Are you, 28? 25? 25. I'm 24. This leaves my deck, uh, right? Yeah. Once you pull it, yeah. Yep. So, you're first. All right. Gonna move here. Move two. And then I'll do an attack for poison on number four. Number four, my lord. Plus one is five. So it's at it's 17. Yeah, it's dead. Nice. Okay. Nice. So big bad's at oh, sh one shit. One should have spawned here, by the way. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll move here and generate light. Okay. On to me. Um. Uh, Alex. Yes, sir. Go ahead and remove all negative conditions from yourself. That's so sweet, Jesse. You're welcome. And heal yourself by the number of negative conditions you removed. That's a little sweet, Jesse. <laughs> Dude, you're gonna be not as gracious about that. <laughs> oh, just one? Uh, uh, whatever. I'm gonna target our lead bear here. I'm going to disarm this bear. Uh, and I'm going to go, ah, uh, hmm. I was also gonna do, ah, uh, hmm, but I thought that would sound a little off. T the technical term for that is D paw, but um, yeah. I'm actually going to target this bear here. I'm going to disarm this bear, and I'm going to go ahead and curse their deck. Okay. okay I think the odds maybe work better for us that way. Does everything reshuffle, or is it only the deck no. that's living? Only, only that one, yeah. Okay. Um, and then a disarm goes on to uh, number two over here, Alex. Beautiful. <coughs> that's my turn. Um. And I'm going to do a... I don't know if you have a disarm over here. Do you have a disarm? Just like refresh. I'm really worried that one throw is going to go inside the Red Bull can. Be good to have it. What'd you do? Uh, I'm going to recover three of my lost cards. I like that card. That's a good one. Just why you don't quick refresh, boys. Why, do you, why didn't you just do a long rest? You just... could suffer one damage and pick a new one if you want. Okay. Might be worth it. Um, mm. Now the question is, do I want to try to hit that guy with post po poison? I think hitting yeah. poison number two is not bad, right? D doesn't he have to yeah. randomly choose yeah. the second one? It's oh, not how he gets to pick, right? Yeah, right. 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 But it's not the first one, right? All right, it's the one he didn't like. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and attack. Yeah, I don't care about that one. I'm attacking <clears> for six, and with the modifier. Should not be a neutral, perfect, great, okay. Uh, six damage plus poison to this guy over here, number two. Okay. It's the card I pulled back. And then I'm going used. to go ahead and follow that up with my bear attacking. My bear's gonna go ahead and do his attack with a modifier, and he's going to do plus zero, which means three damage. Okay. That's gonna be that to over here, so he's currently at nine, in case you're wondering, with poison. Okay. And that is my turn. In theory, I could jump around a bit. Is it worth it though? The bears are currently moving negative one, which means they're moving three, which means I'm anyways gonna get hit either way, so I'm gonna stay where I am. I think I'm not gonna bother moving. Okay. Um, and that is basically the situation. So that's the that's my turn. I did my stuff. Cool. Back to the top. Okay. Um, the bears have the, to go. The bears go and then I go. Uh, yes, that is correct. All right. You, you and Alex just don't like me yeah, to take my turn in this game. Do you care what you use <clears throat> in? I don't. I mean, closer is probably better for everyone else. Yeah. All right. So he's going to do an attack six wound. Plus one is seven. Seven oh. coming into you, Alex? To me, that's not me. Oh, seven yeah. coming into you. <laughs> what are you down to now? I'm down to eight with the wound. Uh, actually, set nine because I have okay. play mail. And then number four, two loses the disarm. And four is going to move. What's his move? Minus one. One, two, three. So it'll go for me as well. Right here. Okay. Minus one. So what is that? Four. Minus one is three. All right. Doing okay over there? No. Doesn't look like if the only lurkers had a having a good day. Character. You could, couldn't you have blocked all seven of that damage by losing a card though? Uh, yeah, but then he'd be that. Then he'd lose a cycle yeah. as well. Right. Okay. Bad right for a turn. My turn. Uh, yeah. Yeah. If who's, who did this bear hit? Uh, mm -hmm. No, the bear that bear did not attack me. Bear number two is the best one to kill, yeah. It's okay. really the I only know, he's one. He's disarmed. Ah, great. Okay. Okay. Oh, I can't really kill it, though, because it's a projectile attack. Um, I'm going to go... 
pool four. I'm going to go to here. And then, actually, I think I'm going to go here. No, I'll go here. If, if I do a long rest on the next turn, how does my targeting take into account? Like, so you do would it, they attack me? Um, it, or would if, they pick somebody with a lowest initiative? If there's someone else adjacent, they'll attack them. But mm -hmm. if you're the only one adjacent, they're still going to go after you. Okay, I might try to go here. Because I'm at 18, so yeah. I might try to aggro. Yeah, I'll um, just step away. I don't um, have good initiatives, though, but... Uh, okay, so I'm going to aggro there, oh, and yeah. then I'm going to set up... Huh? You're not going to draw the aggro away if you long rest next round. Why? <laughs> because you're gonna be I can't move around fast enough. I, I don't have fast cards. You so they're going to go to me them. first, yeah. At least one of them will. If you moved mm -hmm. away, well... What was I the other? Can't outrun the bears with yeah. What was the other spot you were picking between where they go? Like there? Yeah. No. So if we had moved, no, was it, it was, here that you no, were deciding it was where they moved? Here or there? Where? It was these two spots for the big guy, which means a little guy would be in these two spots. So they still would be where they're at. <laughs> if I, if I move in and then take a quick refresh and don't do a long rest. Right. Then you'll draw the aggro if you go quicker than me. Okay, I'll do that. So, and then I'm going to do my projectile attack, range fourth, starting next turn, perform an attack five. Um, this, he won't have any incentive to move, right? Right. If, but if, if Alex moves. Right. Yeah, but if other people are going to kill him, it might be better to just go for that elite bear. And Because yeah. he's at shield one now? Yeah, he's so only this would be four damage? Right. Yeah. And okay. then once he's dead, that's the only one we need to attack. Yeah. Okay. Well, then I'll do that then for my projectile attack. That also generates fire. And then um, for the quick refresh, do I just randomly discard one? Yeah. Are you wanting to pull for me? Sure, whatever. Pick one. Uh, that's a good one because <laughs> that adds if that make that health. increases my damage. If yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose. Pay health. the health and do again. Please don't pick a projectile one that's strong. I can suffer that one, that's fine. Okay. Okay. All right, are we at the top of the round? The top of the round, yeah. Yeah. So I need to go low initiative to where you aren't the main target. Right. Weaken the, the thingy, the elements. Uh, yep, and I am ready to go. Run, ready to go. Hmm. interesting. So wait, what's the, oh, uh, wait, with, with the one that I had in my hand, would this one actually be back in my Are hand? Are we spawning a new enemy? No, so It's not in my play area, yeah. right? Yeah. Are we spawning a new bear? Um, yes. Right there. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. Right, I'm ready to go. Sorry, I'm just, I'm trying to figure out what makes the most sense for... Oh, that's pretty good, actually. Question. If I comboed both of these together, would I have retaliate four? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And shield two. Yeah. That's pretty good, right? Right. Yeah, because I'm surrounded by bears. Right. Okay. Okay. Yep. Ready to go? Yep, ready to go. 37. 14. 76. 12. 41. Cool. All right. All right. 13 goes first, or so, 12 goes first. I am going to, the next four times I'm attacked, I gain shield two, retaliate two, range three, and then I additionally gain retaliate two, so I currently have shield two, retaliate four, and... So you don't mind being attacked. Mm. I would love to be attacked right now. Okay. So, do your stuff and get away. Okay. Honestly, if you guys actually want to target three... That'd be ideal. We don't need to. Um, it, you, or or the elite three? one. huh? I can hit three or two. Uh, so once we kill two, we just need the elite. So there's yeah. no point of going for three. That's Okay, so yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and kill the guy uh, over over there. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and smack. I think so. Okay, so what I'm going to do. I'm going to jump over. I'm going to use my, my ability to jump over. Whoop. Yeah, okay. With the mount behind it. With the gorilla. The gorilla's coming yeah. too. Yeah, the gorilla's only reason I'm jumping over. Like, I'm going to go ahead out. and attack with the gorilla with a plus zero. Like so two modifier. That's going to be... Three damage to this guy, so he's going to be smacked in the head over there. Um, then, I guess, 
you, I can, I mean, the, the guy next to us is going to die if he attacks, but I think I'm just going to kill him, because that prevents any, right. okay, so I'm gonna, okay, I kill him, I'm going to do a, a damage 3 attack, I'm going to get a plus 1, so that's going to be 4, he's dead. Okay. okay. So then that's the last shield gone. That's the last shield, you can start attacking what's it called, and then I'm going to uh, end that with one summon ally performs their move, and I'm going to move on to the treasure chest. There you go. <laughs> just because Jesse's jealous. That's actually him. great because he'll move towards me. Yeah. What's the treasure just do for you? Oh, we'd have to look at the, the thing over there, but um, we'll tuck it up in a second, but I'll let you go in the meantime. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a heal range three, imbue light. Uh, you're going to get a heal of three. Okay. I'll get it. Oh, yeah. Number 33. Uh, then you're going to do a attack of two. I told you I didn't remember. Gain what? 25 gold and poison. <laughs> <laughs> uh, serves you this right. This is a single shot scenario. <laughs> the only thing I care about is the poison. <laughs> yeah, then why do you keep adding up why your do you XP? Keep, yeah, why do you keep going for that? <laughs> uh, okay, three damage going to the golden bear there in the center. All right. Three damage on. Did you take your three health? Yes, thank you. Okay, and then I am moving five away. Have we only done four damage to the main guy? Yeah, he has another... Why'd you leave? 17. Are you activating the next room? <laughs> I figure you guys got this one. How, the bear has 21 health. You know you're going to die when you walk in that room, right? I'm not going in. I'm just... Hanging out in no range near us? <laughs> you're so going in. Who called Jesse as the weakest character? <laughs> Wasn't me, wasn't you, because we you? attacked each other. Perhaps. Perhaps. So we're in the middle of this room, and we still have some ways to go, and all of a sudden Jesse just leaves. He just runs to the next room, and I'm thinking, but we're not done here. Like, what's the strategy? So Jesse's running down the hallway, flailing his arms, chasing something. I'm not entirely sure what's happening. He's kind of, he's kind of just like, we got this? Is he, is he planning on tackling the fourth room, the third room on his own? I don't really know exactly what he wants to do. I do know that it feels fairly useless. You know what he's doing? He's not only running away, he's instigating the next fight before we're done with this one. He's both cowardly and reckless. I know this doesn't look like I'm a team player, but trust me, this room, I've done everything I can in it. I've got this one big move card left in my hand. I need to cycle it and get to the next room so that I can be effective there as well. And what people are ignoring is one, well, I've got a lot of high power cards. And two, I still have the ability to go invisible. No one knows that. Honestly, I, I, I'm expecting you all to be able to handle this bear. 17 points of damage by the time you open the door? I wasn't paying Not attention how powerful he was. It is 21 health, right? Yeah. 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 I mean, the main the main thing I'm doing is, is like, lending aid to you all, and that was my best aid. Let's call it that. There. Okay. Okay, so it isn't... Well, Muddy's gonna cancel this oh, wait, gameplay wait, 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 wait. if I redig on another card, wait. so I'm not gonna do that. I didn't ever activate my. How many times have you oh, changed your card? Huh? How many times have you changed your pick? I think three. Wow. So I'm just gonna draw but for that. But never consequential. Son of a gun. Seriously? <laughs> three effing <laughs> times. No! And you just pulled it last round. No! Whoa. Three His times explosion this game. once again got He's canceled. blessed me twice. And I haven't seen any of my personal perk upgrades. I've drawn that three times. That's insane to me. Anyways, this is... It's gone and... Oh, whatever. Whatever. I'm not bitter. <laughs> so the cave bears are next. Yep. Right? Alright, number one's gonna attack you. Okay. For plus two. So it's For an attack plus two. six. So I have shield one, two, three... So, if, uh, so I only take three damage, but it takes four retaliation. Okay. Okay. And number three is going to move. Yeah, let's move him right here, a little here. bit further away. Okay. So and what? He'll what? attack you. It takes four retaliation for minus one. Yeah. And so, how much damage does it do at no, minus only one? Only four, so three. Three so damage. So I, I block all of it okay. and do the four damage back. Okay, and check. Four. Yep. Plus zero, so that's four damage. So it only does one to me. Yeah. And, and it takes four back. And which one is it? Which one is it? That one's four. number four. Check the map for where this bear spawns. 
Okay, yeah, either of these. Is either of these? Yeah. Yep. So, no? Yes, that one seems better, Jesse. Are you trying to kill us? No. I thought it'd be funny if Alex went and got the treasure, got poisoned, and got trapped. Like no, I'm I jumping didn't over. Do. I'm jumping over. Ah, you're jumping. I have a, I have a freaking gorilla. Dude. You were jumping. Okay, so we're going now. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna. You I'm wanted gonna me to turn. die to prove a point. <laughs> no, I'll do my. You attack wanted five. me to die to prove a point. Consume fire. Oh. So that was one, two. Th I got attacked three times, right? So I have one more attack coming. So I'll do attack five with colorful wavelengths. Oh, you're still you're going. I forgot. I forgot my turn wasn't last. Plus here, so that's five on. So him. used to my turn being last. So now they, he's at thirteen. It's almost like we have yeah, eight more, and it would be nice to have a fourth teammate in there. It's weird. It's weird. And that's it. I consume the light, though, and generated dark. Consume the light and generated dark. Okay. And then this wanes. Yeah. All right. I have one more retaliate that I've got as an option. And then. Your doorways doorways block line of sight for like range and stuff like that, correct? Uh, doorways? Mm -hmm. Well, no, but you would need to be in line of sight for it, so you don't have line of sight now. So how much damage do we have? Eight more? We need, uh, we have 13, so yeah, eight more. Eight more? How much damage do you guys think you can do? I can do something, for sure. Yeah, I can do a good amount as well. I can do four or more, depending on modifier. I'm gonna stick with oh, I need to some. reshuffle this back in now. Yay, so I can get it again. Cancellation of my entire tag. Yay. Hey, Hierophant. How's it going out there? You communing with your great oak in the hallway? Mm -hmm. How's that going? I have done so much support. Devin, I have one question. Do you think the great oak ever slaps the Hierophant? That's how they bless us. What are you talking about? We stand there in high windstorms and wait for the branches to hit our heads. I'm waiting. Who's the great oak? Dude, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, you're not great oak. You're not great oak. That really rattled my brain. They're very rude. Well, I'm it's ready got to got a go. lot of space to move around. Are you slapping people thing. before you've picked your cards? I'm yeah. ready to go. Yeah. Oh, you are? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are we doing? All right. 11. 19. 24. I'm 81. And we what have 34 with a shuffle. Attack with wound. Let's hope they all die. Yeah, let's hope that we, we kill him. All right, so I'm going I'm to heal two. All attacks targeting me have disadvantage this round. And then I'm going to do an attack. So before uh, you do that, I just caution against that. Because if you don't move, three bears will attack you. Yeah, I was just realizing also I, I need a range attack, so I do need to move. So I'm just, I'm not going to heal. Let's stay at 13. And I'm just gonna. Use he was like, it's really good move. for me to be in the center of all this. I was gonna say for one round specifically. My takeaway is there are things we can do this game that are stupid enough that he'll finally say something. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I would strongly caution against that. You have been the most inept combat fighter this whole game. Just for the record, he has not told me that moving back down the hallway was the wrong decision. Yeah, we all did that for him. Yeah, yeah, he didn't feel the need to jump on the bandwagon of the obvious. <laughs> So I'm going to do an attack four at a range of three. I'm going to do it against the main cave bear. And let's see if, you if I cancel it. It's plus one, five. so that's five damage. So the main cave bear's got three health left. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Are we ready? My turn? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm going to start with a little uh, lowland gorilla jumping action, kind of, and go ahead and pop down one, two, three over there. And then I'm going to smack the cave bear in the face with the lowland gorilla and do... Minus one, which is very disappointing. Oh. It's only one damage. Okay. And I have a real question on the table for you, Monty. I have a choice right now. I can either heal someone three, or I can go for a two attack. Mm. You tell me. Take Just him out, it. or heal so, you. Like, if you're basically locking in damage that's wasted anyways, I may as well heal. Right, yeah. I Unless I miss, he's dead. Mm. Healing it is. Who would like healing three? I'd love it. You know. Who else would like healing three? <laughs> uh, what are you at now? I'm at 12. What are you at? I'm at nine. Heal, how, what's your cap? 16. Uh... I mean, I'm at 13. Okay. Well, actually, wait. My goal is just never get. I'm gonna get hit first, right? Because I will I'm not so be. They're not I will not be here. They're not moving. They're not moving. No. And yeah. I will not be. He'll he'll, he'll he'll I'm not getting touched at all. Oh, well, then he'll yeah. he'll he'll. He's gonna get hit. Do you? 
All right. Take your three. All right, uh, and then I'm gonna follow up my move after I've done that. So after I'm gonna after my heal, I'm gonna let my summon ally within range three perform his move plus one. So I'm gonna move four down the hallway to join Jesse. Awesome. One, it's two, almost two, like three, I left at the right time. Mm. Sure. I timed it perfectly. Sure. sure. All right. How's your turn going this turn? Let's let us know what you do. Let's see okay. if this attack procs. Yep. Plus zero fire. <sighs> and the bear turns into ash. And you do that. Sweet. Okay. The bear is dead. And then Where's I'm gonna that? move out of here. How are you going? To, oh my gosh! One, also two, back down the hallway. The boots. Wow. And generate light. I'm currently doing a three-point turn, trying to get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bears go ahead and activate. They don't move at all, so nothing okay. happens. Yep. Which means this deck is now out of play as well. And I believe it's me last. So we're all leaving because we're pretty much done here, and there's a room full of cave bears, and Devin's just sitting there with his bombard, and I'm just hoping that he makes it out alive. Everyone ragged on me. And then two people followed me out of the room within a turn, and guess what? The bear is dead. I would have been no good there anyway. Watch this. I'm gonna kick in the door, I'm gonna throw an invisibility cloak over myself, and I'm gonna curse the living out of that snake. I'm gonna go ahead and move three. Oh, interesting. So, I could go open the door. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go open the door. One, two, three, I open the door. Let's see what's happening. I gotta right. get so far. You realize how slow I move? As you enter the next clearing, a spine chilling hissing erupts from the clearing, and you see several giant snakes, with one in particular towering above the rest. Its enormous cobra's hood is flared as it rises up, ready to strike. The others follow its lead, and you ready your weapons, hoping you can strike first. So we need five. Vipers, one elite and four normals. Five vipers, one elite, four normals, okay? The, then, uh, the idea of Jesse thorns. readying his weapons is comical. <laughs> three, th I, I'm readying my weapons, don't you worry. One, two, one more thorn. You sure not be able to use that okay. as a thorn. To be clear though. Where do they go? Alright. They're see. all going to go this turn, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because he activated at the end okay. of the turn. We don't need all characters alive to win this game. <laughs> Chest here. Chest there. Okay. I'm going to take three, Jesse. Three Cobras. Did you account for the fact that you're poisoned, Alex? Yeah. By the way, been, just, I haven't been hit. I'm just wondering. Dance like a butterfly, sting like a bee, Jesse. Yeah, this is a cooperative normal, game. We yeah. do remember that, right? This, I gave this, we warning. are on the same team, right? I gave a very There's specific no warning. In this. I said, for out the rest of this gameplay, this is cooperative. <clears throat> Tile looks... Looks like it's tighter here. Three wide, not four wide. Oh, is it oriented wrong? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's gotta be. Ah! Ah! Don't Stop it! Everything. <laughs> everything moved! The number has to be in the bottom left. Yeah, number shifts bottom left. Here. Alright. Keep rotating, keep rotating. Cool. There we go. Is there supposed to be a little... Yeah, well that covers that up, yeah. and then... Now we've got our three patch here, three regular vipers, one golden boy, and one more right there. Do we want to clap? There we are. Okay. Nope. Right, the elite giant viper is the king cobra. The king cobra has the hit point value of an elite giant viper multiplied by C times two plus two. What? The king cobra adds one plus one attack to all its okay. attacks and is immune to poison. So this is a, a big beefy. 110. Sign. Yeah, yeah. 110 what? Health. There's no way. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. That is exactly yeah, what yeah, the math no. is. It's 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 got a lot of HP. I've never known algebra myself, but. <laughs> but there are no spawns. So once we kill the rest of the okay. vipers, it's just us and Great, this guy. Great. That perfect. At this point, I'm starting to not like Mutti, honestly. Like I don't know exactly what's happening here, but we just dealt with two wounds, and this guy has 110 health. 110 health. I did the math in that, and Jesse and Devin were like, oh yeah, no, no, that doesn't seem right at all. And Mutti's like, actually, it's it's exactly right. I like them more than him. Hey, oh, I was worried. Oh, God, we right. did this oh, one man. last. I was worried about the spawns. That's what I, you know, yeah. was was drastically concerned about. Can you imagine? If... Now, in your playtest, when people pick this room yeah. first, do they just stop playing? Well, there's one more rule that's going to help you guys. Okay. None of the monsters in the room will focus on enemies outside the tile, nor will they leave. But whenever a giant viper is damaged, the king cobra suffers an equal amount of damage. 
So as okay. we attack these guys, he's gonna suffer. So all damage we will do to so any the of them. Twenty-four damage we do to this, he's gonna be down to like a totally a paltry like eighty-six. Eighty-four. Eighty-four. Eighty-six. 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 Yeah. Didn't I'll have do algebra that. in Ohio. Did okay. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to uh, do a attack of three. Now it feels kind of insignificant. <laughs> Range of three, right here on that. No, no, no. Ah, right here on Thank this you. one, right there. Uh, and I... Oh, the King Cobra adds plus one to all its attacks, okay. just in case. All right. Attack of three. <laughs> Perfect. Three damage right here. Good, good news, though. I'm hitting both of them. Yeah. Three to number ten. Oh, and three to the King Cobra. Don't you forget that. I'm just going to move it here. Yeah, we can get rid of all these. Okay. I mean, the good news is I let you all know it was hopeless to try. We'll need the space for all of the damage tokens we have to put by them. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and tip my cloak of invisibility. Well, oh! You want to see what they're doing first? Who, the Cobras? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I can, yeah. He's like, I help the whole I just, Alex is making fun of me. We're all making fun of you. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. So I stand there and they don't do anything to me. Right. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. Yeah. And then goes, I'm a bye genius. Bye. <clears throat> and just in case you are that's, that's immune debatable. to poison, so these guys won't be able to poison you. Yeah, I am. Okay. All right. I just take off my shirt and they don't see me anymore. It's so pasty. Like, oh, that's just the wall. I'm invisible. <laughs> Next round. All right. Um, so, are we long resting? You're not long resting, are you? Not, no. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and randomly, randomly do this. I'm definitely not long resting in a room with active bears. I feel like I kind of <laughs> should have saved my poison now. Your dagger? Yeah. My poison dagger. Yeah. Should have saved my poison dagger. Or I could long rest and get it back, but I don't think it's worth it. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and lose a card here. We're gonna lose that one. Which honestly oh. I like that card a lot, so I'm gonna take a damage and lose another one instead. Alright. And some pack mule is gone. That's okay. I'm ready to go. I, I have a question, guys. So my lowest initiative is eighty. Yeah, great. So perfect. We got rid of the bear cards, but yep. I'm technically still in the room with the bears. Absolutely. Run. Right. Yeah, but oh, your lowest initiative is 80. 80. Yeah, they're, they're definitely going to come after you still. The yeah. good news is the last bear card we had was a shuffle, so nothing we did mess anything up. You're just going to die. <laughs> cool. Unless you short rest. Yeah, how, how, how does that work again? You, you randomly just discard one. Cards back right now. So I get all of them, but and I then, randomly get rid of one? Yep. yep. It's a little premature. Do you take the one that, that was programmed when you short rest? Oh, if, if one was still active here? If it's still active, it doesn't come no, off. Yeah, yeah, not unless you intentionally uh, discard right. it. Right. Okay, so that one still stays there, but I get rid of one of these randomly. You're so stupid. I would love some prayer cards to additionally boost what I'm doing, because mm -hmm. the bombard is starting yeah. to get low. Don't worry, I've got... Um, Sun setting low, big guy. I'm all <laughs> equipped with prayer cards, so I will get those to you so soon. I think you're not telling the truth. That one... I'm gonna, I'm gonna not. You do health for it? Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna not let you do this. I'm gonna. It's also <laughs> not great to lose, but this one is more valuable. Things are getting, uh, getting thin. I'm ready. Sparse over here. Sparse. All right. Fourteen. Ninety. Eighty-eight. Eleven. Thirty-three. Okay. Number forty-three. What's the bears? And doing? the bears. Bears are gonna oh, be going. Don't be uh, a nine. Forty-one. Thank one. goodness. All right, 14. So I'm ahead of you. Um, so hush. Mm, good talk. And <laughs> I'm going to move there out of that room. And then I'm going to do nothing else. Good talk, guys. That was great. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to do a curse and curse range three hitting the big guy. Uh, then a, the next time a normal or elite enemy draws a curse, the enemy suffers 10 damage after the attack, then lose this card. So this is locked in. Go ahead and add two curses to the elite, please. To this deck over here? Yeah. Yep. That's nice. Yeah. And the next time they draw, it'll be a 10. Well, let me actually have done it to this one. Um, actually, no, it's, it's anyone. It's anytime right. anyone enters it. Okay. And then I am going to do uh, heal to effect one ally within range three. The affected ally gains shield and retaliate. I'm not able to do that for anyone. So oh, wait. No, it's the bottom thing. I'm using this for move. Sorry. I'm taking a single step back so that they're not interested in me at all. all right. Like the rest of us. <laughs> um, this card is going to be expired after that happens. These cards are here. I'm at a very real point at which I might end this game exhausted before this fight's over. That's okay. Yeah. Maybe. 
I need, we just need one of us to be alive. I, I was told by the designer that if this was played effectively, it could help augment the low deck number of the bombard. You know the prayers? Yeah. I, I, I you know. Anyways, um, moving on. Your turn. Great. Because I, I went, the oh. Vipers went. Great, 88. So I'm going to go, the Vipers all went. I'm going to go ahead and I will start with my, my creature. I'm going to jump three. One. No, no that, that's, I can't be on that, right? right? Right. Okay, great. One, two, three. And then I'm going to go ahead and move five with this card. One, two, three, four, five. I'm moving with my creature, though, if it's the same to you. And I would actually rather be over here, just in case. Uh, and then I'm going to spawn a fighting bull, and I'll spawn the fighting bull over here. So we nice. have some nice little uh, just extra things just popping up next round to start. And the, and the bull do this. can push I know. those onto the thorns. Yep. Oh, that's very smart. Yep. Yeah. And so I figure at this point I don't mind having my cards weakened a bit with a little bit of more summons in play finally. Right. right. Okay. Um, great. We have the fighting bull. He's going to be helping us out. We're going to do our thing, and uh, I don't think I'm doing any attacking. That was it. That was my turn. That's great. Here. <sighs> I'm ready to go. I like the end cycle of my cards. Mm -hmm. All the X abilities that I have. Yeah. No, oh, that's, that's a great boss to drop that on. Mm -hmm. And even if one of the other guys proc it, he's still suffering the damage. That's actually true. It'd yeah. be it'd be 20 damage across the board. Right. 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 Mm. Okay. Good talk, guys. I'm ready. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm almost ready, I think. What? Okay, I'm ready. So I'm ready. 14. Uh, pulling 28. We have 45. 58. So we're in this last room where there's a bunch of giant vipers, and the boss suffers damage whenever another giant viper suffers damage. So my strategy in this room would be to first attack all the other vipers, so that way the boss suffers as much damage as possible and then hone in on that boss to maximize the damage on that while there's only one enemy which is the boss left to attack us i'm inconsequential guys I'm, it's gonna perfect I'm, I'm gonna be slowly it'll be a few along. rounds it'll be a few rounds i gotta yeah. fill up gas i gotta go to the bathroom all right use those boots. boots yeah alex you're first uh, even, even with those i'm gonna boots, start off with me do i want to go with me? I'm, I'm gonna go do the summons first no i want to do me first i'm gonna do me first i'm gonna do i want to do me first i don't know I'll do me first. I'm gonna go ahead and do a attack three immobilize on the guy in front of me, hoping to get a knock at a negative. One important question. There we go. You said doors don't block line of sight, right? Right. Right. But in this specific yeah. scenario, due to the rules, you can't attack unless you're on the door. Can I see right. Alex though? Do I have line of sight too? I'd rather you don't, honestly. <laughs> yeah. I do? Okay. Yeah. I could do it to you too, but right. Okay. Oh, I did something slightly over there. I apologize. That's I don't know if you want to handle this. This guy had to go first. I can only act before my mounted right. summon. Right. So this guy would have had to go first. He would have done the negative two, so he'd have done nothing. So that's what have happened. So he would have got the negative two modifier. Um, he right. attack. He would have yeah. pushed, and he pushed it onto the thorn. So here. Yeah. And that does what? Uh, we're in scenario level four. I don't remember offhand. What's the best guess? It's all good. Oh, plus one. I would say two damage. Two damage. Okay. That's what I was thinking as well. Yeah. That's yeah. What I, was I thought the do. same. Okay. Two damage. So we have that and that over here. That's a five. Um, Both of those are five. Yeah. Attack five now. Oh, that's fear. I could just do that. That seems to be a little Devin. You see, you're not useless. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm um, just going to be the, the manager of the token. And then that's a shame. I would have loved to do that. So then I'm doing my attack, which my attack will. I could move first. I could use my summon to move first, but it's a little annoying. I could use my chest thumper and attack him. So fine. So I'm going to go ahead with my chest thumper. And head over here, and yeah, I guess so. I'm gonna chest thumper. I'm gonna do my regular attack and hit with a plus one affects all summoned allies owned, which they're all doing fine. So nothing need for there. So it's gonna be killing him straight there, and then doing two damage to you uh, over here. Great. And then this is gone. And then finally, I'm doing my actual attack, my attack to be immobilized, where I'll go ahead and do nothing. Oh. It's okay. It's bound to happen eventually. Shuffle it all up, okay. and that's my turn. All right, swinging over to me. Uh, I am going to go ahead and bless you, and bless you again. Uh, range of three. The next time an ally draws a bless, the ally may perform a heal six self, and then I lose this card. So you're just you're you're going into full end in mode. That was thunder. Yeah, that's what happens like when there's weather. I'm terrified. Uh, so that's now locked in thunder. place, and then over Here's here. The thunder. Thunder. Uh, I, I have a. Stop it. Thunder. I have a. Uh, can I see the leader right now or no? Um, I believe you can't attack them. You can't attack them. Right. Can but I you disarm, can disarm them? them. Yeah. Okay. That's what I was trying to do. Disarm. 
on the leader. Uh, and I'm going to add a curse if they're adjacent to an ally, which they currently are. So add a curse so back into their deck. There's me. more, because I've added more before three that Three curses? Well. No, just one, one more, one more. now there's a total of three in there. Gotcha. Oh, so that'll only just happen once. Yeah. Okay. I thought we were going to get like 30 damage on it. <clears throat> no, not quite. All right. Um, 45 my next. Yep. All right. I'll move three jump. Oh, just reminder, all attacks hitting the giant the mm -hmm. member get disadvantage, which would be relevant because my attack missed, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah, that's only triggers on its turn, so anyone attacks it. Oh, gotcha, that. gotcha. Yeah. Uh, I will attack for poison number six. Generate light. Okay. That's four on six, and then four on this guy. Dude, 11. Oh, and he's poisoned. Only 99 to go. <laughs> have poison here? Oh, yes, we should have poison here. How much do should the other little oh, guys no, have? I have the poison. Did I mean, can get a poison? Thank you. And number six. Number six. Number six, my lord. Okay. And that's it for me. Cool. I think they go now. And they're hopefully going to draw into a pile of curses. <laughs> so, what's the order? The giant pipe is going to be attacking me, I guess, right? Yeah, number okay. one. Well, yeah. And we get a two times. That's not the same thing. As not a curse. Curses. Yeah. No. Um, I'll go ahead because he has a plus one. This is a good time to use it. I'm going to use my shadow armor to just completely ignore the damage. Perfect. Nice. Okay. Uh, then we move to the next person, and this yeah. involves shuffling at the end of the round. Then right. Okay. Oh, actually, number one was disarmed. So he wouldn't have done that. So my shadow armor is not, not related. So who's doing that right now? So number six. Number six would go here and do that to me. Times two on a three on a two attack, so that's four. Okay. So I'm gonna move this. It's three. And then poison. Mm -hmm. So another poison. Okay. <clears throat> okay. And then we have the uh, next one. Oh, they're all poison, that's what you're saying. So gotcha. Number seven, we'll move here. It's the shortest. Um oh no, it has the giant. Junk. Yeah. Okay. It's attacking me. Yeah. Okay, we're going to draw a card. We have a negate. All right, he suffers 10, <laughs> so 7 is dead. Okay. And he suffers 10. The leader suffers 10, Alex. Yeah. Okay. Great. Awesome. We've got 20 da 21 damage over there. And there should be a 20 in there if you want to oh. sub that out. 10 is that one, just 10s. No, there's. Okay. Okay. <coughs> From Crimson Scales. Um, and then number nine, what's the move value? Um, that's move plus one, so it's a four. With jump. Attacking yeah. me again? Yep. Okay, we're gonna have a negative one on a two attack, which means it's already, that negative one's zero damage. Okay. But I get the idea of poison, already poisoned. Yeah. Okay. But then his attack would have been plus one point of poison. Yes. So I get one damage. Okay. Okay. My turn? Yeah. I'm going to. Exhaust my boots, do a move two, one, two, three, four, and eventually see what you guys are doing over there one of these days. <clears throat> one of these days. One of these days. Mm, I used you, didn't I? Yeah, but I don't complain much. When you do a long rest, you just choose the card you get rid of, right? Yes, and you gain two health back. At this point. What have I used? Okay. <clears throat> That's not really bad at this point. I could really use uh, one of those prayer cards. You're not gonna make it here anyway. Could really, well, could really use one of those prayer cards. Handle this without you. Okay. That's Say fair. I pray for you. That's fair. Forever. Gather. Oh, my heart interesting. Alright, ready to go? <clears throat> I'm yeah. ready. 19. 63. 83. 58. I'm actually going to do a long rest. Okay. And I can refresh my boots. And I can actually get in there. So the summon in front of me has how much health on it? Is it 6 or is it with number? Um, 6 has 2 no, health with, left. With this one, that's 9. 9 got nothing. 
Yeah. Wow. Let me kill one of them. Well, um, I'm going to start with just giving it a shove, I guess, because I don't have any other options. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and attack with my Subtiding Master from there. I'm going to go ahead and draw. We have plus one uh, target. This is plus one healing to myself, right? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't help at all. So it gets um, rid of your poison, though. No, it's on this one. Does, I can do it to me? You no, know, yeah, because that oh. target's the chief too. Okay, gotcha. So, yeah. perfect. Um, then we'll go ahead and deal our two damage to that guy, which means two to here and two to here. Uh, that's going to be that. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and... That's my basic. Then I'm going to use my gorilla... No, I'll, I'll go ahead and get attacked first. So I'm going to attack first with my basically... What am I even doing with these cards? I haven't figured this out. I think I'm just trying to be professional with them. So I'm just gonna, I'm not going to bother any of these. I'm going to use the top half of... Oh, I could heal three. Is that better for us right now? I don't think so. I'm going to go ahead and attack. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and attack two with myself. And I'm going to flip this over. We have a plus one. So that's going to be three damage to that one. So three damage to this guy, and then another three to this guy, which means I could just take off two and put a five. And then lastly, I'm going to use my gorilla. Um, and I could jump, but I think, I mean, I could just, I'm just going to take him out. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to go ahead and take this guy out and use my gorilla with a modifier. And it's negative one, which is all we need. That's one damage to this one, which kills him, and one damage to this one, which is enough. So we got this guy out of play. So slowly clearing the board there. That's my turn, and I'm done. So it's endgame now, and things are ramping up. At this point, I've been very wary of, of playing multiple amounts, because for me, in Gloomhaven, my biggest downfall time and time again has always been getting rid of those cards a little too early because I want the early game power. I don't know how long the scenario ramps up. I don't know exactly what's going to happen next. What I do know is we are heading towards that final stretch. I'm going to start trying to play multiple amounts and play. I don't know if I'm able to get two down, three down, or something, but I'm going to start trying to just have more, not mounts, summons. I'm going to have to try the summons on the board to see just how far I can push this guy, push the Chieftain on the final stretch. I'm still 63, so I think they're going ahead of me, and you did a long refresh. So, snakes so I'm, go. Sorry, one, one thing left. I could move. I could do, I didn't do the move on this one if I want, because I yeah. just pop out of play. So, and I could, can I use my abilities on my summoned ally? Like, I could use jump? Yeah, if he has jump. So, I could, for instance, take another charge chest. Yeah. Okay, cool. Enjoy sure. your poison. Shut up, Devin. No one cares. Hey, right, cool. That's my, my turn. I'll figure out the treasure shortly, and it's your turn. Whoever's next. Okay. Snakes go. All right. Elite's going to attack me. Yes. Curse. Good. All right. Did we reshuffle? Were we supposed to reshuffle? No, no they're, they're cursed. Instant. You don't even. I'm yeah. saying, weren't there some that were drawn that... I'm sorry for doing this, but... Oh, yeah. Like that. I had a times two last round. A reshuffle. Yeah. All right. I'll leave you keep the curse if you want, but... <laughs> uh, yeah, might as well. Shuffle it. Steel helmet is from Crimson Scales? Uh, no, Iron Helmet is in... Uh, no, Steel Helmet. A Steel Helmet, yeah. What do you know what it does? Because I just uh, got a Steel Helmet. I don't recall offhand. I'm going to pretend it's very cool. I, <laughs> I think it treats like a minus one or a plus zero as a minus one or something along those lines. But right. Plus zeros and minus ones. Yeah. Perfect. Or plus one as a plus Does minus zero. when attack consider any cards. minus yeah. any two times as a as a zero? Uh, minus one is so it had a base of plus one, so it's attack four, minus one is three. Two, three, and I'm poisoned. So that's four. No, I have this. Alright, and now number six. It's gonna attack me also, and there's the curse. Nice. <laughs> Okay. All right. Okay. Moving on to me. Uh, I have a move three, bless one adjacent ally. I'm going to go ahead and step back up into the doorway. I'm going to give you a bless. Uh, then attack three, range three. Uh, I'm going to ping this little guy here. Mm -hmm. Looking for two times. Great. Ooh, right. Six coming in. That's going to kill him off the bat. And, and that means to I am immediately going to perform a secondary bless to you. So you get two blessings. Thank you. Okay. Keep shuffling. Every day I'm shuffling. On our next turn, can you get All out right. of the doorway? Have you drawn a bless yet or no? Not yet. Okay. So we're down to just the final guy? Yes. So yeah, I'm going to... Can you move out of the doorway so I can get to the doorway at least? I'm going to do an attack five, push two, because we have the light up. Do you have to get rid of one? Plus one, that's six on him. Can me and you just like collapse into it? Plus another two. So let's just... Do we have any poison? So he's immune to poison. Oh, well, never mind then. Yeah. I have done what I could. Uh, okay. 
Okay. Let's see. What makes the most of my cards now? I'll move. <coughs> oh my gosh. That's the only sound you have not made yet. There are others. Uh, there are others. <laughs> Generate fire. That's it. Alright. I'm going to get rid of a card. Because I'm doing a short rest. And I'm cool with this card leaving. Okay. Can my boots be part of a pool movement? Oh no, they're made for walking. No. Yeah, I didn't think so. Bummer. So it really needs to be. Oh. Okay, I'm good to go. That's me in the corner. Losing our religion. Man. Um, All right, <laughs> we are. I'm running out of anything. So is Devin, but I've done a lot more on this round than he has. Sorry, I was doing something in the previous two rounds where you, we, I was killing enemies while you were running away. What? Well, that one you were going after a chest, yeah. and that one you were just not doing anything. Pretty sure I played a lot of support card there. You did? Yeah. Oh, yeah, thanks for all those prayers. Kept two of you alive. Uh, okay, who... I'm everyone ready. ready? I'm ready. Pulling a 63. 14. 36. 43. 84. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pop over. First, I'm going to have to use this summons over here. And he's going to go ahead and charge there and then attack him. He's going to with a modifier of plus one. That's going to be three damage. And he pushes him, right? Yes. So that's that's going to be five chance. damage. So five damage. So I'm going to do five damage to him over there. Boom. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my own personal uh, gorilla jumping thing, Majigi, to. I'm going to jump out because I think that's a good idea. So I'm going to jump out with my gorilla. Use that steel helm, man. Oh, the steel helm is on. It's on like Donkey Kong steel helm. I'm going to go ahead and do an attack three and immobilize. That's on appropriate that. since you're on a low land gorilla. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, so that's cute, cute. Uh, three, I'm going to do an attack three with immobilize plus zero. It's going to be another three damage to it. One, two, three. Um, and then immobilize as well in case that's relevant. And then lastly, my gorilla. Well, my gorilla should. That's my gorilla's attack. So it's really there. And then I do my attack with immobilize, which will be minus one. So another two damage to it. And immobilize. So it's and this five. five is and that's be five. Full ten. And we have another full ten. Okay. And we have forty that now. Fifty. Forty damage, I think. I think that's fifty. Fifty damage. Oh. So another sixty. Yeah, that's easy. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so okay. I remember that one time when mm -hmm. you, you got to just take a nap. Mm. Gotta start pushing them onto these thorns. Yep. Shoving them around. Uh, sixty-three. Forty-three. Thirty-six. Nope. You're next. All right. I just gonna move here and do an attack three. Mm -hmm. Plus one. Okay. Plus four damage. Four. That's it. Short rest. All right. I'm gonna do a move. Of... Uh, what, what's your thing? What's your? What 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 are you at? What's your asset? Uh, hmm. Is he going first? Oh, he's going first, yep. Okay. But so he's, he's going to yeah, he's going to mobilize, he's going to target all just an enemies, which is the two of us. I'm going to pop on Spike Shield, so I gain Shield 1 and Retalia 2, uh, which means he's going to be doing an attack minus 1 of his current attack of 3, so it's going to be attack of 2 plus 1, so 3 basically. So it's attack of 3, so I'll take... Don't we have to flip one. the modifier? You should flip the modifier, that's reasonable. Oh, it seems like that's a whole lot of time savings there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I still retaliate, right? Yes. Okay, great. So I'll retaliate for two damage to at least try to do as much as possible. Do you retaliate if it cancels the attack? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. So Is that a minus. five? Yeah. Um, and then that's basically five. Yep. And the EDO. Uh, yep. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. That's six, actually. Okay. And then we are... Yep. So that attacks your summon next. Nice. It's all adjacent, but it misses. I gotcha. Cool, but it's one of these deck. Yeah. That's, that's a shame. And then a plus zero on me. So it's then attack for three. Which, because of Alex's steel helm, is true. <laughs> so this one. Go down. <laughs> I'm just going to keep bringing out the steel helm whenever you can. Yeah, you earned it, man. Okay. okay I come with two charges just so I'm going to get the poison and get the steel helm. Uh, and that next round. Okay. No. Well, I'm still go going. And I got to go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm going to step forward by like two. Two people doing stuff are like, let's just keep moving on. Uh, so I step forward by two, and then I'm going to go ahead and do an attack of four, range of three, targeted uh, enemies suffer one damage. Uh, so, it's it's guaranteed one damage plus yeah. the four that I'm doing. Increased light, yeah. So six total coming in, nice. and that is going to be the near the last action I am doing because this card's gone. That is the last action I'm doing. I have one card left. 
That's it. Yeah. That's, That's it. it. I'm out. All right. I've expended uh, every 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 everything I, everything I had. I'm, I'm glad these big cards were able to go off like they did. I mean, I think it's going to help close the game, but. That's that's it for me. I, I wasted too many actions and too many cards trying to go after that treasure chest to start with. I'm going to move and doing then... He's it's... been slowly walking towards the door this whole time. Guys, I'm kind of at that point where it's like you're coasting, trying to find the next gas station, and I'm just trying to see how far I go on E. So I'm going to get to there, and then that's four away, so I'm going to use range four projectile. You see me just dripping in poison. Yeah, like, uh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Um, Lots of bile. Oh, those are the ones I haven't used. Okay, so then I'm going to do this range four projectile, which is going to finally make it over there barely. And that will be attack two and stun on the other time. And that's all that happens right now. And then I've got one more turn. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready to go. All right. What can you guys do? We're working out. How, which cards do you think I should play next time? Both of them, probably. Yeah. Oh, you think both I should play both, yeah, of, both of them? Okay. At this point, are you like, both, why did I agree to sign up for this? And I realize why the name of the show is called Past 2 AM. <laughs> He's got more regrets than he... Initially thought he would coming over. Um, That's, yeah. What do we have? Fire. I see fire. Um, all right. All right. I'm right. Yep. I'm eleven and twelve. They are eleven. That's obnoxious. So Shield do one. I go first? Yes. Okay. <sighs> okay. So I'm going to activate this, which is going to be attack and stun. So it's going to be attack two. Times nice. two. Does this go away? Yeah. Yeah, well. The bless. Okay, so that's. You're welcome. Attack of four. Mm hmm. And then a stun on them. And they've got a shield. So that shield is not going to proc. Okay. Because it Until goes they on its turn, but sure. he's stunned, so he won't do it. Mm. So he, so I just negated his yeah. stuff. Yeah. I feel like my end that's great, was though. a little. That was, that was a decent end. Um, and then. Let's see, so that was the activation of this card, which is going to go into my discard. I might be able to get like one more turn out of this. And then... I really needed him to retaliate so I could get rid of that and use it again. <clears throat> oh, it would have gone away anyways. So the only question is what resolution of this makes sense. I am going to... If I move two, I can't even get close to it. Um... I'm just going to move here um, to get adjacent to, oh, that's just Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll, here, I'll do move two. There we go. With, with just basic move. And then I'll do this. Pillars of smoke. Once per round, when an ally enters a, a hex adjacent to you, they may gain immobilize. Then if they have immobilize, they gain invisible. So you guys can now permanently be invisible. I mean, you can't move, but I figure for you, yeah. you can just stay there and keep right. hitting them. Okay. Keep moving in, yeah. My turn? Mm -hmm. His turn? His turn. Oh, no, he's done. So, my turn. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do my abilities, so I'm going to move this guy. He's going to go one, two, and then push him over here, uh, which this, I think, is gone already. Uh, he's going to do a modifier, so it's going to be plus one on his default two. That's going to be three damage. One, two, three. Uh, then I'll go ahead and use my mount to jump across the hall over there. One, two, three, over here. And then smack him in the face with my mount. That's going to be a uh, minus two, so nothing from that. And then I'm going to use my ability over here for attack four with a modifier. Oh, oh no! <sighs> that hurt. Okay, and that's my turn. All right, I'm going to do a... What do we have Can fire? we sub out the two fives for a ten? Or do um, we have any We more? might be running out of tens. So he suffers one damage, and then I'll do an attack five times two. Nice. Okay, so I could heal six. So, so he just ten. did ten? Ten in, and you healed up. So I can just put those two fives back. It's almost as if I'm Let still playing the game. Let me go get the 20, Alex. It's almost as if I'm still playing the game. Yeah. All right, so that's, what was that, an attack five, ten, ten on him? You put that on? Yep. Okay, and he suffered one damage before mm -hmm. that, so one more. From the bottom. Okay. 
And that's my turn. Great. Here you go, Alex. There. Here's two fifties and two twenties. Two fifties and two twenties. Okay, so we have fifties. Those fifties are small. Okay, those are those are not helpful at all. Those are just <laughs> confusing. No, no, one second. We're gonna, do, we're gonna put this. We're gonna put this over here as a note for the head. And we're gonna take off these to the side. And then we'll take off these five here. That's gonna be the fifty. And now we're resetting the count. Actually, we're gonna put sixty up there because that we have a decent fifty. We have to get over here. So that's these five off. So we're currently at uh, there. In a second. So twenty on. So we have thirty more to go. All right, I think we can do this. I think it's gonna be very, very close. Very tight. So we're at 80 right now? Yeah. Okay, and then I've okay. got just two more cards. I've got one more turn. Oh, let's do a short rest over here, so we'll see what happens. I'm gonna use this also. So I'll, fire and light. Yeah. This is my second last turn, I think. We'll see, let's do a short rest. You all have enough blessings in your deck, to hopefully. I hope so, I hope so. Yeah, I have two more turns. Right. 30 damage and two and a half turns is her. One and a half okay. turns is rough. I'm ready. I'm ready? I'm ready too. Yeah. Okay. I'm 12 and 85. I'm 14. 24. 24. 32. 32. Okay. So I'm okay. going to do. 12 goes first. I'm going to do shield one. And I've got another shield to retaliate to. Oh, and you're off the map, right? Huh? I'm off the yeah. map. Yeah. And then I'm going to do a projectile right here, and then that's going to hit next round. Even if he's not there? Does it happen even if I'm not there? No, no, no. I, I, I'm going to be pushing him. I don't know if projectiles work through that. Where are you going to push him? So, Monty, correct me if I'm wrong, what I'm probably going to do is I have to push him away from me, right? Right. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to take the damage because I can afford two damage, to, uh, three damage, whatever it is. I'm going to yeah. walk here and then push him there. Yeah. Okay, well then I'm going to target that okay, there. Making sure. Yeah. And then I am... Oh, you're moving him. Does he go before you or after you? He goes after me. Oh. Uh, What's the problem there? I was going to... I could have him retaliate for two on him and have a shield three. So I essentially could take a hit and do a retaliate damage. But if it's more effective for your thing, then I can have a st attack and stun after you move him yep. anyways. Okay, okay, I'm done. Okay, so on my turn, I'm going to go ahead and do what I said. I'm going to pop this guy over here. Uh, he's going to take the two damage set or three? Two. Two damage. So he's going to take the two damage on him. And then we're going to do the two damage as well to him, just for knocking him onto the this over here. But then also drawing a card and seeing what we draw. Minus one, so another one damage. That'll be where are those ones? Where do those ones go? We have a bunch of ones over here. Uh, that's gonna be the first thing I do. And then from there, I will go ahead and jump. Now these over here, I will jump across using my ever trustworthy gorilla and smack him in the face for plus zero for another two damage. And then that's I'm going five. to that's five over there, right? And then I'm going to uh, go ahead and actually use my own ability over here, the attack four, and then draw the modifier on that minus <sighs> one, so that's gonna be three. And we're gonna go ahead and call it around. That's my turn. That's my second last turn. Just on the same page. Yep. Great. I'll You've go got on. like five blessings in your deck. Yeah. So hopefully I'm doing an <laughs> attack, attack three, right here. Uh, actually, I'll do an attack two and an attack two. So first an attack two, plus one is three. Okay. Um, second one is an attack two, plus zero dark. Okay. It's a total of five. Five extra from the last one? No, I mean, total of five. Okay, so yeah, two more. So two, two more. more. Okay. And that's it for me. So 33. We need another 17 to go. All right, yeah, I still think... It's not bad. This. Yeah. It's going to be incredibly tight. So we're at... 80. Sort of what you want with Gloomhaven, though. Yeah. It's right. incredible. Well, I mean, you do. Oh, wait, no, no. Are we at 93? You said we have 17 to go? 17 to go. Yeah. Is that everyone? Mm hmm. Okay. Did we resolve its turn? Did we skip its turn? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know. Did we Did we have him with that? I don't know that you touched its turn. Okay, okay. so he's going to attack. He's going to attack me. I went earlier. Yeah. Right. Yep. So that's fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead. Let's draw it. go ahead and draw it up. It's a plus zero. So he's doing the attack three, basically, right? Attack four. Yep. Let's check. Yeah, that's an attack four. I will take it because I can And a poison. Two. And a poison. I'll take the poison too. You okay? I just short rested to get that. So I have a question. Back. I'm exhausted. I'm like out. But I do have my. Will my projectile still go off? Um, not if you're exhausted. <laughs> wow. That one. Well, you know, I'm exhausted. Good time for a pee break. Good time. Okay. So sad. I'm ready. 
Okay. Right. You flip. Oh, and this should be shuffled up on their side. I got 14. He's shuffling up his. 45. So we're down to the wire. Um, Alex is about to exhaust. I have just a couple cards in my hand. Jesse and Devin both exhausted. Um, but as long as we don't pull too many misses like Devin, I think we'll be okay. I think I have a blessing in my deck as well. I just haven't seen it. I've given quite a few out. Yeah. That yeah. Have not. We, there's been more curses than yes. blessings. We have 23. 23. He's yeah. so going after. I'm going to 14. I'm going to walk over here and give him my can't shove him further. So I'm just going to hit him for two and call that a day. That's going to be uh, two damage to wealth modifier. Plus one. So that's three damage. That's going to be these out of the way. So 17. One, two, and three. Let's just take 14 two, left. Two and then five. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to do with my guy is going to go ahead and stomp him with his gorilla. So I'm going to get a minus two. That's really brutal. And then I'm going to do my attack three immobilize, which can be negated. <sighs> Holy sh... Yeah. 14 left. And that was it. I'm done. Um, you have no cards okay. left? Just nope. those two? Nope. There. Well, you could long rest and give your summons a turn. That works. Cool. They're going next. Yeah. Okay, my summons are turned. Sorry, summons have plenty of actions. So he's gonna attack. Either. Could Devin have long rested for these then? Yeah. That means his he's grenade can still off. grow off. Um, unless, yeah, if he had that in his he hand. He had cards in the discard. He, had an he just wouldn't have. Yeah. He didn't have active cards. So the projectile would be an active card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that could still go off. So right. he would have long rested. So he goes after all of this, but still, yeah. that, he might actually get the winning blow. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Devin, you actually get, you actually not too exhausted. I'm not First, exhausted. Hmm? Two attacks, right? Yep. And plus zero. How am I not exhausted? We'll explain in a second. Just let me shuffle. Because I could have gotten just one card back. Yeah, you could have long rested, which means that you're effectively still dead, but you're waiting till next turn to die. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. I kind of feel like I left the room assuming I was dead, and I came back in after being resuscitated by the game knowledge of the designer and I felt like I had an influence you know it was like I was about to die I was about to expire and I had my finger on the trigger on the detonator and I helped out just a little bit not a lot but a little bit cool all right I'm going to do my attack five plus one is six okay it's really hoping for a and then he suffers one damage with the Consume. Okay. So that is. That's my turn. Okay. Devin, does your rock go off? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Plus three if the attack is a projectile. So that's five. So that's uh, what project. Let me see what it was real quick. It was a two. So it's a five plus a stun. Okay. One health left, I believe. So whoever took a damage, that's not going to go. Okay. I believe the math is done. one health left. Yeah. Is it? We had 10, 20, 10, 20, 30, uh, 40, so 45, another 50. 47. You have three health left. 47 right. plus oh, yeah. 70 over there? He had seven. So, yeah. You might have missed something. Did you do the it with him? Is that, I did, I did a total how much is that damage. over there? Is that 60 I did, I did or okay. 70? Okay. I mean, three I think three health left. You have okay. more turns? Yeah. Okay, okay. I mean, and I have I have a summons in play. I'm just trying to say, if yeah, that's 70 over there, plus this. 47 okay. is yes. 117. No, no, this is 47. That's 60. Oh, that's a 60? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. And I'm going to... So that's I, it. I, 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 cars, I, right? I have an issue of 99. So okay, 33. Okay. What does he have? He has a 32, okay. but he has Devin's stun. <laughs> he has Devin's stun. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So he's doing nothing. I'll do an attack, too. Hang him. Convert any element. There we two. go. There's blessing the blessing. It's almost as if I'm still playing the game. And the King Cobra is dead. Wow. Nice. That was insanely thin margins of victory yeah. there. Yeah. Wow. 110 health. That That's insane. Early. You know, I'm going to be honest. We get to the end, and uh, there's only one figure left to stand against. Munty. And here's the thing. He kind of deserves it. He did this. Right? This is his game. He's playing with a bunch of idiots. It's already past 2 a.m. And uh, if anyone's going to have the glory, anyone but Alex works. Yeah. All of these characters are really cool. Cool. So is that like a moment where I was like about to die and I had my finger on the trigger? I was like, one. Yeah, you were rocket recruiting the hell oh. of that. <laughs> like, press the trigger. Don't press that trigger! This was fun. It makes me, it makes me want to... 
play Gloomhaven. Yes. Which is what we've been doing. Yes. Except not, because this isn't real Gloomhaven. This is fan expansion Gloomhaven, which is so weird and also really cool. <laughs> That's pretty insane. So the experience that I had was great because I've never played Crimson Scales with its professionally printed version. Every time I've played, it's usually been in testing and I've just been using print and play components at home. So to move around with all the physical pieces and just see the game really come to life and with components that look similar to base game and you can't really tell the quality difference, I think it was just an amazing time. So we just got done our first gameplay of Crimson Scales and it's kind of everything I thought it would be. My my first unboxing Crimson Scales, when I first went through it and I went through the characters, got to see everything there. The characters were incredibly incredibly detailed, incredibly well done. They had that Gloomhaven flair of managing to capture uh, some sort of uniqueness about a character instead of, fan, instead of fitting into standard tropes, but while being powerful and special and individual in their own right and that to me was the highlight here the seeing those characters in action seeing the the hierophant seeing the the uh the chieftain or any of these characters set off in motion and trying to see how they play and what unique flavor they add uh, both both the initial abilities that they have the way you love them up and augment them and develop them it felt like playing gloomhaven ultimately it felt like playing gloomhaven just more gloomhaven i feel good about the fact that we won I feel not great about the fact that Jesse and I collapsed on the floor exhausted and took a nap. At the end of the game, the three of us have to, you know, pay homage to the fact that Money brought this one out. He did it for us. Thanks Love for watching. Uh, it, I mean, if you made if you made it to, to this part, I, I don't I don't know what to tell you. Uh, so sorry for Alex. Sure. Yeah, generically. I'm the problem. Apologize for him. Collecting all the treasure chests. That steel helmet, though. A steel helmet really saved us. <laughs> we'll see. Goodbye. This was so cool. I, I mean, let me be real with you. It feels like I'm playing Gloomhaven. But it's not supposed to feel like I'm playing anything but Gloomhaven. More scenarios, more story, more world to adventure in. But when push comes to shove, that's not why you buy this pack. I'm never going to play through the entire core box of Gloomhaven. I'll never say never, but... Without Bill and Melinda Gates sponsoring that, it's just probably not going to happen. We play so many games, we cycle through so many campaigns, and the time commitment is probably out of my reach now that we run Quackalope as a full-time thing. But here's the thing. I am going to go through everything here, and I'm going to check out and test out these new characters. Four, five, six games in the future, I'll have a chance to see how they all play, and that's the coolest thing for me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. These past 2 a.m. episodes take way longer to produce. And uh, I think they're worth it. We have fun connecting with you, sharing and growing this platform. And uh, at the end of the day, if you're still here watching, well, lesson learned, I suppose. Go to bed, get some sleep, and in the morning, do the important thing. Get out and play some games. We'll see you next time. Thank you.